let us do a couple things to uh, set the scene here. First of all, the part one video is on Simon's channel. If you follow me, you probably already follow Simon. Um, if you don't already follow Simon, follow Simon and find that video on his channel. Um, another thing is line numbers can get confusing. So I'm reading from Claver's Beowulf, which prints, um, well, I'll just show you on a page. These half lines are sometimes printed as whole separate lines, depending on your edition. So you may have a different line number than the one that I say. It's difficult to get around this. Um, and I noticed that it's not always just a perfect half or doubling because um, I was gonna tell people where to start this time. We're starting with fit four, fables broken into fit sort of chapters. And um, the first line of that is him, so Ildista, Ansuarda, if you take the next line as part of that half, part of that line. Um, for me in Claver, that is uh, 258A. Um, and for Ringler, that is 515. Uh, Ringler is splitting the, the half lines into separate lines. I guess that is half still, isn't it? Because, of course, one would not be a perfect half. That's a dark line, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually making this too complicated. Okay, so possibly the number that I give you, you'll have to double if you have an addition or translation that prints it that way. Uh, Simon, you also suggested doing a quick recap, uh, kind of a character sheet for people we've met. Who have we met so far? Um, so the major characters uh, that we've met are uh, Hrothgar, who is this king who has this whole held uh, which has been kind of tormented by this kind of moorland beast thing called Grendel. Um, Grendel, it's, it's implied, just kind of really doesn't lo like the fact that people are sort of celebrating in this hall. He doesn't like the, you know, he doesn't like the noise or the celebration. Uh, so he comes and sort of ransacks the hall. Uh, and it's got to the point that this hall can't be used after dark because if anyone goes in there after dark they just get killed by this monster that comes and eats them um and overseas uh, from somewhere overseas this um thane of another king called here uh, and this thane is called beowulf but we haven't actually heard the name said yet at this at, up to this yeah. point um, spoiler alert yeah. spoiler alert yeah um this this thing comes from overseas with the intention of uh, sorting out the problem and defeating Grendel. Um, and it's worth noting that Grendel is never actually described. So mm -hmm. you can picture him however you want. I just picture Simon. Um, <laughs> you know, but you can you can make your own call that way. Um, well, I'm, I'm and, yeah, that's you, right? I mean, you probably got some more lands around. Well, in um, Fen. Yeah, Fen. That's a that's the word I was looking for. Um, and I was trying to remember because we we didn't we have a brief disagreement about who Hrothgar's dad was. This is this is something that's going to come up because everybody's dad comes up, right? People introduce themselves yeah. as so and so's son. Um, and uh, I was just looking back. He's Halfdane's son, right? I think that's what you. Yeah, you you were right there. I I remember when I was editing it. Um, I I am notoriously bad, even in modern books, at keeping track of <laughs> like who is who. So I yeah. apologize for that oversight there. Um, oh, I'll no, I mean, same, same. Um, I see in the comments, uh, Moina asks you to uh, make sure we can read your lips. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if that applies to me, too, because supposedly I have invisible lips, but I'll... <laughs> overlook it for now and then um my patient supporter adrian is uh uh very convinced that we need to do character voices so if you want to do your you know your hrothgar voice or something i i look forward to hearing what that's like i'll give it my best <laughs> my best guy we can always just do the uh, the cheap thing <laughs> give them ridiculous accents you know <laughs> hrothgar's australian or <laughs> something um, practiced some kind of authentic 
non-West Saxon pronunciation of some word. Although oh, there are wow. that would be a, that would be a deep code. I think maybe even within this recording, there'll be a point where randomly, I think it dips into a, visibly a different dialect for one line. Um, hmm. Okay, that'll be cool to, to to point out when we get to it. Well, um, I see Alfia in the chat is asking why sometimes uh, uh, the mysterious strangers tribe is called the Geats and sometimes uh, the Wetters. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, but it seems I'm to mean the same thing. Uh, Yateland and Wettermark seem to be kind of interchangeable. So mm -hmm. potentially it's some tribal difference that's already obsolete at this time. I yeah, potentially. Like two groups have just solidified. I think there's another uh, word, something like Wendell, which is used at some point, which may oh, yeah. or may not cognate with Vandal. And I don't know how the geography works out there. I, I'm not sure. I saw that, and I was thinking, was that actually used of a Dane? I think so, yeah. It's not, not the same as the Geats. Yeah, and then, of course, like now and then, they get real specific, or seemingly specific, and say, like, West Danes and East Danes. In fact, on one page of my text, I can see both West Danes and East Danes used of Hrothgar's people, and that's just, you know, for alliterative purposes, probably. Um, they're Danes. Um, I don't know if he's specifically a West Danish or an East Danish king. I don't think that's meaningful in this text. Um, anything else we should cover for people who haven't come before, if they're watching now or watching later? Uh, our pronunciations are a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, that's, I think that's, I mean, there's so much wiggle room in Old English pronunciation as well. There are a few broad, there are the broad pronunciations of phonemes and then a few allophonic rules that are kind of reconstructable but arguable and in any way there would have been regional variations so i feel like yeah the the biggest difference is probably that i make things like ea as diphthongs a and mm -hmm. then you take those as different vowel phonemes um so but it's not a huge deal um i guess that the way i do it is is arguably a little older fashioned uh, in yeah. old English, but yeah. yeah, and probably now and then I say stuff in a uh, old Norse way just because it's what I'm more used to. But uh, like, especially making D's into Ev's when they don't need to be in old English. But that may be appropriate for the actual setting. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. See, there you go, Adrian. I've got an old Norse <laughs> accent, so I'm already doing voices. Um, yeah. Well, you want to? Uh, do you want to get started? Yeah. So we'll start with fit four. I'll read it in Old English and then go through it in, and try to, to translate it. Um, and then we'll do some discussion, maybe take some questions about it. That's pretty much how we did it last time, right? I think so, yeah. And this is starting with uh, the line, him se ildista, which is uh, 258A for me, 515 potentially for you, depending on edition or translation. All right. Him se ildesta ansvarde, verodes wisa, warhord on leak. Why is it gum kines gear to leoda? Right. I'm not going to get this. Sounds a bit uh, Benjamin creepy. I'm not going to get this. <laughs> on on he halakas herodianeatus. Was mean fader focum yacudin, athela ordfruma. Edge theu hatten, ye bad winter warm, er he on way whirven, Gamal of Yerdum, Hena yerwe yaman, wittene well winch, wide ye on the erda. Way thur holtne hi ye labord thine, Sunu hail dene setian quoman, Leo de Birian, Westu us laren a go. Habath we to them maron nichel erende deniga prean. Neshel 
per dyrnesum wesson thes it wainen. Thu wast, yv hits is swawe soothliche sejan hyrton, that mid shildingum shelvana itch not huilch. Dergul dad hata dercum nichtum ewithur esan in kuthna ni. Hundu on ravil. Itch thes rothgar mai thur rumna sevan rad yelara. Who he frowed on gold, feyond over swithe. Yv him edwenden avra shoulder belwa bisil, bot eft kuman. On tho chair will mas kulran urvav. Otha o sithan ervo tragen, reanid thola thenden thar wunad, on hechstede husa selis. Weird. Mathaloda thar on wige sat, on becht unfort. Ach wathras shell, sherp shildwiga ye shad witan, worda on worka, saith a well thencheth. Itch that ye hure, that this is hold where of freyan shildinga, ye witad forth beran wapen on ye wadu, itch eu wisia. Swilche itch magu thenas mina hatte with feonda yahona flot on eorna. New duudnas nakan on sander arum heldan of that eft urid. Over lagus dramas leof namanan wudu wunden hals to weder merke. Goad fremendra swilchum yiver the bid that on a hildaras hal ye dig. Ye wit on him tho feron, flotta still abad, seo moda on sala, seed fathmed ship, on ankra fast, eoverly chionon over hleorbergen, ye hroden golda, fach on fuherd, fech where the hailed, guth mo the grimon. Guman onaton, stigon at somna of that hu sal timbred, yeotolich on goldfach. On jiton michton, that was for amaros full buendum recheda under rotorum, on thamse richa bar, lixte se leoma over landa fella. Him tha hilde deor hov modigra, tort yet hechte, that here him to michton ge, a jechnum gangan, guth bearn asum wid ye winde, ward after qua. Mal is me to feron, fader alwalde mit arsavum eowich hilde sida yesunde. Itch to se wille with wrath, werod, werde, hailed on it. It's pretty long. Um, <laughs> you know, an, another pronunciation thing uh, we talked about this last time is, is I have to try to remember to voice S's sometimes. Yeah. Um, because we don't have that in Old Norse. That's okay, true. so I must uh, say you're, I like your trill. I think you do a trill better than me, but you've probably been doing it longer. Um, oh well, I have. I, I I I guess I have to for uh, Icelandic Norwegian anyway. Um, I could always try to really exaggerate it when we get to double ones. On swarra there. Any any other remarks before I try to try to put this together? Um, see anything in the chat? Uh, oh, the chat. Just as a um, as an in introduction to anybody that um, is confused about certain aspects of Old English pronunciations, in certain situations, C and G represent uh, palatalized consonants. So sometimes there'll be Kurt and Gur, sometimes there'll be Ch uh, and Y, depending on the environment. So whether they're near a front vowel. Um, so that's why, the, yeah, that's why they're pronounced. So, it's a, yeah, if you, uh, I mean, the kind of capsule thing there is if it's n what it's next to is I or E or Y, mm. it's Ch. Yeah. yeah. Um, otherwise, K. But it's weird because there's some words where the modern English cognate has K, uh, yeah. even though you'd expect it to be Ch. So 
you know, some of this is like keen, right? Like, why is that keen, not sheen? But yeah, who knows? Kin um, as well. Although kin, I suppose that's eye mutation, I think. Kin. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Um, King is, I guess, eye mutation of a U, but usually Y does cause it. So yeah, I don't know. Some of it is probably back uh, formations from Old Norse too. Because of yeah. course, a lot of the Old Norse vocabulary is the same, but without these vowelization. Uh, so the oldest one answered him, the leader of the band, who's still the old, so is still the guy answering, um, unlocked his word hoard, which is That's one of my favorite phrases. Uh, we are of the family of the people of the Geats and Hialox hearth companions. I actually see the modern English word hearth there. And Heloc is the king of the Geats. So these guys are personal, you know, they're, they're personally tight with, with the king. Uh, my father was known to peoples, a noble point goer, a leader, presumably battle leader, named Edge Theo, Edge Servant. He endured many a winter before he uh, disappeared on his way. Another on the way. For dying, I think. I, yeah, I another um, another gone far away type type way of saying dead. Is is Horva subjunctive there? Are here on the way, Horva. Um, I don't. I don't know. Is I'm trying to think. If it is. What, I don't know why it is. Like Horva. Being the yeah, I mean, if it's a simple past, wouldn't it just be? I mean, I'm thinking about it in Old Norse, but I like an Old Norse would be water, right? So I guess it'd be like Hoy or yeah. something. Well, I don't know, I yeah. just don't know why it's subjunctive because there's no concession or anything he's making. Um, old, so he was old when he went on his way from the yards, from I don't know, so when he went on his way away from where people live. Um, so, like, well, everyone of wise men, which is an agenda plural, remembers him well, Yaman in a Yerwa, throughout the wide earth. Or is that widely through earth? I, I, I had that as widely through earth, but I, because okay. I think there's other, there's other cases in, in earlier fits where, well, I mean, I suppose all of those could have been translated one way or another, but I, I think there's there's cases where in other fits I've glossed it as widely as a weed as like a an ad adverb. Yeah. Use very often the cognate viva in Old Norse that way. Um and of course for uh etymology fans at home, there is modern English beyond with the prefix B attached to it, the yond thing. Uh we through a faithful mind, hold Nahia, come to seek, Quomon Sekion, your lord, Fina Hlavord, the son of Halfdane, the protector of the people. Be a, or be good of counsels to us. Is that how you take that? Go, Larna. Us. Uh, we have. A great Aaron, Mitchell Aranda, to that great Lord of Danes, To Fam Maron Freon Danica. Now, there, and this is not existential there, like modern English, but somewhere, shall be a certain secret, sum dirna, uh, which I expect or think. That's itch way now. Um, yeah, I, I, I think this is another one of those where I kind of, I had had trouble translating it word by word, but I, I think I got the overall implication of it. Like, we we've come to do a great errand for the Lord that we're not trying to make any secret of it. Like, there shall be no secret of this kind of thing. Yeah, there shall not be. 
did I say there shall be, there shall not be a nation, oh, there shall not be a certain secret, which, which I know. I just don't know what the which I know or expect thing is doing there. But I guess it fills out the line. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I, it, gets him his, it gets him his W's, his Wesson, Wayna, Was. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, if it is as we truly heard to say this is the origin of english phrases like heard tell uh mm -hmm. so as we as we truly you know if it is truly as we heard tell that among the shildings Prothgar's family um i know not what uh injuries right so which with a gender plural shield and which is like injuries right or is that the injurer I think it's injuries. Uh, I read it as um, uh, well, I guess like, it, I guess you shower. could be saying. I think I I, inter I, I read shower as like criminal or someone doing bad deeds. So like, although I think maybe your translation makes more sense, I was thinking something like a criminal that I don't know. Wait, like oh, I don't yeah. know. I guess it could be accusative, and that would actually kind of make sense with what's coming up here. Uh, well, I think I, I trust Clever says it's gender. Clever says it's gender as I originally took it. Let me let me, let me see yeah. what I think as I keep going with this. So I don't know which a secret uh, hater in deeds, Dad Hata. Um, so, by the way, a uh, couple points here. Uh, Daigle, that's um, Smeagol's buddy, right? So oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's kind of fun. And I'm pretty sure Smeagol's in here, too. And I'm wondering, when I see Dad Hata, if there's also uh, Ward Hata, if that's an old English compound. Because it'd be kind of fun if you have, you know, haters in word, who are kind I of hate. missing from haters in deed. Like, at least, you know, this guy does stuff. Um, so, yeah, I know I not a... I was just going to say, I think the idea of words and works is contrasted somewhere later. So it'd be, I feel like it would, it would fit the theme of like. Yeah. So to all my word haters out there, <laughs> y'all ain't deed haters. Um, so I know not. All right. Let's see what the rest of this is. So, so secret hateful deed doer in dark nights shows through terrible unknown maybe i should say something like unexampled because i do know what's happening uh hate of injuries one cause there could be something like unlike I, I know it's it's straightforwardly reads as unknown but it could the implication could be something like unheard of like yeah yeah i was thinking like unexampled right like it's just un, oh, unprecedented I yeah i see, see yeah yeah see. um so i still think Probably the Quilch goes with Shio, then I like I don't know which injuries the dark the hateful deed guy and the dark knights shows through terrible unprecedented hate. Um, humiliation and corpse fall. Hrafu, Ra fall. Uh, I may through a roomy mind. Uh, large mind uh, teach advice uh, to Hrothgar about this, Thass, how he, wise and good, froed and goad, overpowers the enemy, over Swedish fam. If there ever should Avra Shulda come uh, reparations, um, help, aid, boat, afterwards. Uh, reversals, Edwin's in, of the affliction of evils, Bisigu, gender singular, Belawa, gender plural. Is that right? I, I of, couldn't even find what Bisigu meant, <laughs> but so I will trust your trans translation on that one. 
So it's a feminine uh, bisica is like affliction. I thought, of course, the first time I saw it, I thought busy. Uh, That's what I was thinking, but I thought, like, yeah, I couldn't find. But yeah, I think yeah. genitive plural for Balwa. Yeah, he's busy with evils. Um, so I can show him some advice for how to overcome the, the enemy if if uh, if if reparation comes, if if reversals of the bad stuff comes, and then the sorrow like waves uh, become colder. That's it. That's a that's actually pretty visceral. Um, yeah. Or ever afterwards, the distress time, trouble time, air with thraga, the dire emergency, threanid. I don't think these are the subject. I think. I think. Or afterwards, I think, he injures. Right. Yeah, it's still the subject. So Hrothgar, yeah. I guess. So or, or afterwards, if Hrothgar injures, trouble time, dire emergency, while he, never stated, Wunoth there resides there, on the high place, the throne of our happiest on the high place. I feel like the house Salus should go with who's, but it doesn't grammatically. So I guess if he happiest sits on the high place of the houses. The throne. Yeah. Hang on, have I lost that? And then what like Always afterwards, suffering time, suffer as long as there remains live. Yeah, as long as. So are you saying as long as he remains there on the high place among yeah. oh, the best, best of houses? Or as long yeah, as. Yeah, but wouldn't. But, hmm. but then why does Salus not have any kind of grammatical marker if it goes with the house? Um, yeah, that's true. I guess it. Like, like it looks like uh, logically, I would think you're talking about the best of houses because I think they actually say that about it earlier. Um, oh, maybe it's the subject, the happiest, uh, or uh, ever the happiest of houses endures this distress time, this dire emergency, while he lives there well, on the high seat. Well, it could be so that this Rothgar lives there on the high yeah. place. So Hrothgar is the subject of Wunath, but the house is the subject of Thowath. I guess that's a possibility. Yeah. yeah. It seems a little complicated, but. Um, so the implication of it all being kind of like, I'm I'm your only hope at getting rid of this. And if you don't accept my offer, then you'll be, you know, forever after you'll be suffering with this problem. Yeah. Or it could be a little bit less boastful because you know there's it's he says if you know things get better um you know i can maybe show him how to how to overpower the fiend um all right so the, the guardian spoke uh there he sat on a horse the ombudsman unafraid the, the, the retainer the officer um a sharp same uh, metaphorical meaning in Old English as modern. Shield warrior uh, shall everywhere at know the difference on Yashad among words and works. Worda on Worka. That one who thinks well. I hear that that this is a faithful company to the Lord of the Shieldings. So depart forth uh, to bear your weapons and armor, I uh, direct y'all. I will direct y'all with the present standing, basically the future there. I command such of my, maybe just some of my young things, um, and I have to go way down here to get this infinitive, to hold, uh, hail done, Y'all's ship, Aaron of Floton, against any 
enemies, the Hona founder. And then this is uh, your ship, which is New Tard, New Tirwitna. Uh, the ship on the sand, Nakan on Santa, with its oars, Aru. Until, and then I guess it is, I guess the subject is a couple of lines down. The wound in neck wood, or the wood with the wound in neck. So the, like if you've ever seen the Oseberg ship from Norway, it's got that spiral neck. I guess that's what's kind of being talked about. Until that spiral necked wood, the ship bears afterwards, Birid Eft, the dear man, Leovnamanan, over the ocean streams to uh, the, the Wettermark. Yetland. Um, all right, some of this gets a little involved. So, Yivitha can kind of be fate. So, to such a one of good doing people, Swilchum, Goad, Fermendra. Um, Fate, there, it, it is fate that um, he endures, so there's no he here, but implied, or he like survives basically healthy the, um, the battle rush, the hill to rest. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's fate, fate is gonna gonna going to spare you, you you good doing man. Yeah, yeah, that you'll come out whole or in one piece. Yeah. Uh, so they departed. It's kind of a cognate accusative. Uh, it's kind of fun, kind of kind of a uh, folksy modern English seeming. They departed them. Mm. You were taught him. That's how I take that. <laughs> yes. Like they, they got themselves out of there. They they departed them then to go. All of that could have just been they went, but you know, meter. Um the ship awaited still, uh, or calm, I guess. It rested on rope, Siomada on Sala, the wide fathomed ship, uh, fast at anchor. Four images shown over. Cheek protectors adorned with gold, Trodon Golda, uh, ornamented and fire hard. Um, the, I guess the, I'm trying to think what the subject is here, um, held the life watch. Um, the war minded one, the, the helmeted, maybe the helmets. I don't know. I the helmet held the life watch for the, 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 the war minded helmet held the life watch for the helmeted one. Hang on, where how far back is war minded helmet, or is that well, goose, goose mode, right? Like war minded, war, war oh, spirited. I think there might be a, an archaeological precedent for the boar figure thing in um, the Sutton I've seen, Yeah, and I've seen, um, there's something from, I always forget the name of this thing, but there's the stamped uh, parts. There's some images on a helmet from Denmark that have guys wearing boar-shaped helmets. Okay. So it's pretty cool. Um, Or is it that the life is is it that the the shore guard is holding like life watch that the war minded shore guard holds a life watch over the masked ones the helmeted ones? Um, I think that's a possibility. But the but the verb is singular, so. I find it so difficult to keep track of these things. I feel like when I'm doing my translation, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like 
lose like I've lost things in a way that I feel like I'm happy with but I feel like there's going to be a lot of example a, a lot of places is where I I've just missed what the subject is for oh it's just... it's it's not always easy to keep track of um I'm and and probably anywhere that you've lost the thread I've lost the thread so uh, no I mean I have more experience keeping <laughs> keeping these things together but I'll cross my fingers yeah. Well, I'm going to go with my my helmet idea as a subject there. It could be this. It could be the guard. Um, anyway, the men hurried on a ton. They moved together. Apparently, this is something you can do in Old English. You can say um, "sank" or "moved," because I saw that and thought "siga" in Old Norse, which is just "sank," but apparently, it can be "move" in Old English. I didn't know that. So they moved together until they might perceive Nichton Onyaton, uh, the timbered hall, tempered sal, splendid and gold adorned. Yotelich on gold fall. That's that, that timbered, splendid, gold adorned hall. It was exceptionally famousist. Exceptionally right? famous. Well, you know, Maros was like famous as right and Fora is kind of an intensifier, so it was the very famousest um, uh, of buildings under the heavens for earth dwellers, cold moon. Um, the powerful one awaited them in that, so reach about on Sam. The light uh, shone very much over, or the light shone over many lands, over Fela London. The battle brave, Hilda Deor, um, see, show, I'm not here. all right, him, then the battle brave, residence of the brave, right? Oh, the, uh, this is the, um, the shore guard. So the battle brave shore guard, I think, showed Yatakta. Um, the bright residence of the brave, Tort of Modigra, to then him, right? Is that how you take it? Um, that they might go walk directly, Gangan Gegnum, to it, him, to the hall. Um, one of the war bears, the warriors, uh, turned his horse, he went to Widge, and said a word after, it is time for me to go. Uh, same idiom in Old Norse. Um, the all-powerful father with his graces, uh, may he hold y'all safe on the ways. You soon to see them, safe of ways, safe on the roads. I want to go back to the sea and hold watch against uh, an angry company, um, an enemy company. In in relation to Will Lung, I as as far as possible, I've tried to translate it as want to, or sometimes like occasionally need to, if that seems more appropriate. But there, there I feel like there are situations I noticed. I'll try and point them out if I come to any of them where it does it. It seems like a more modern English interpretation of like kind of just a um, like a. It future. seems like a future here. Yeah, I mean, I want to seems awkward. Um, yeah, but yeah, is, I I will certainly you know just as a future. You know. Yeah, I mean, you I've, could you could need to in this situation. Like, I need to go back to the need city. to. Yeah, like, I've seen will on use in ways that do look like pretty much a plain future in Old English. Although, mm. correct me if I'm wrong, I kind of associate that mostly with um, kind of counterfactual futures in Old English, where like it's mm. like uh, I, I would go, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, but see. yeah, I think, I think just taking it as a regular future is uh, just fine. Yeah, in some 
in some situations. I didn't look at Bosworth Toller for that one because it's there may it may actually be in there that there's that there's an occasional um, it just being used as a um, like a feature marker. I was going to say something. Um, oh yeah, so this this Fader uh, Alwalder stuff. I yeah. I took this as being kind of a bit Christian in nature and it be referring to God, but I don't know because there's a few places where I read something as Christian and then I think, well, it's it's made a point of the fact at least um, Hrothgar's people aren't Christians. So I don't know whether it's just... Uh, I did not. I hadn't, it hadn't occurred to me that, that there was maybe. a distinction between the Geats and the Danes. Like I know some of them sort of slid back Right it's, when Grendel came at him, but oh, I, I oh no, hang on. I think I think I'm thinking of a passage earlier, but I think actually that's referring to a time in the deep past, actually when they weren't Christians. So maybe now they there's no well, indication. And, and didn't they get so upset about Grendel that some of them decided to try sacrifices to the old gods or something like that? It, it's, oh, it's kind of vague about it. Absolutely. I thought I thought they were just kind of backsliding. Potentially, um, potentially. Now I'll note Christ is not mentioned, mm. right? I don't think uh, someone may be able to correct me. I don't believe Christ is ever named in Beowulf. I'm right. Not, I'm not sure. But but, yeah, so. um, but it's monotheistic. Certainly, the, the this the way they talk about God, they talk about you know a God. Um, but. Uh, um, you know, I wonder if kind of like in Old Norse, they often try to portray um, really virtuous people who couldn't possibly have historically been Christian, um, not exactly as Christians, but as incipient monotheists, mm. right? Um, I think maybe that's kind of what's going on here. Like they can talk about, you know, God or Father. They're not, you know, but they're not saying Christ, right? They're not being really specific about it. Speaking in a way that's accessible to a like a Christian could read it and kind of uh, interpret it as Christian or not feel too well, not feel as if they were reading something uh, pagan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and vice versa, probably. I mean, this isn't going to be. I guess if this were directed at a mixed audience, which I don't think it is, uh, I don't think either one could take that much offense, but probably mostly it's just trying to be sort of historical about it. Yeah. Um, and not 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 make them Christians necessarily, but make them kind of incipient monotheists. Yeah. Like plausible deniability. Well, yeah. I never I never said it was the Christian God. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not and I'm not promoting paganism, obviously. Um, yeah. because I'm not talking about you know, old gods, and I'm saying it's bad to worship them, but um, but I'm also not being so ahistorical to call them as to have, you know, Catholic priests at Herod or something, yeah. Although Cain is mentioned, uh, actually, yeah. I, I see in the chat, Alfie Wallace mentions, yeah, so there's some Old Testament references, so it's it's the Christian God, yeah. Okay, yeah. so there is, some, there is some explicit stuff like that. That's, isn't there a bit later, I... I... Isn't there a bit later about something about a sword? There's a lot of Christian imagery around a sword. Um, I suppose we'll we'll get to that. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, is that the one that he gets in um, Grendel's mother's cave or something? I think so. there's a bunch of there's a bunch of swords. So, <laughs> well, um, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, in in several months. <laughs> Or, or whenever it is. Uh, I'll just have a look at the chat and see if there's anything. Um, yeah, while you do that, I'm gonna check and see, I'm, I'm gonna check the, the index of the names and um, Claver. Now the word has in heathen comes up quite a bit, um, mm -hmm. I suppose as a, uh, let's say contrastive. And let's see if Christ ever comes up. Christ does not, of course Cain does. Um, God comes up quite a bit. Um, 
the author basically doesn't want his fandom to call out any anachronisms. I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's got his medieval trolls. You know. <laughs> I'm um, sure. You know, I, I would hate to pick up the West Saxon Times and see, you know, uh, what if, what do, what do they do with the the, uh, the attention getting headlines online? Right, it's like so and so demolished by you know, right? Alfred it's, destroys Beowulf. You know, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, you wouldn't want that. Uh, all right, you ready for five? I am indeed. Um. Yeah, okay, hang on, let me scroll to it. So, Strat was stanfach sti wiesode, bumum atgadere, gus birne shan, haurd handlocken, ring iren, sheer, song in saurum, tha hiu to sele forum. In Hira Pirira Yautum, Gangan Pomon, um, Seton Samede, Si de Schildas, Rondas Reinharde, with Thas Rechedes Wau, Buron Thato Benche, Burnan, Ringdom. Guth Sauro Gumena, Gala Stodon, Samanna Sauro, Samod Atgadere. Ashholt uvan uh, grai, was se iren thraat, wapnum ye wurvad. Tha thar lonk ha haleth, oret medjas, after adelum frain, quanon feriath ye, no, sorry, international, quanon feriath ye, fatte shildas. Graia Sirkan on Grim Helmas. Hereshafter Halp. Ich elm froth goddess ar and umbicht. Nesaukich el theodie. Thus money a men. Modi likran. Wen ich thatie for wenko. No less for raxidum. Ak for hiethrimnum. Thrimum, Krothgar Sochton. I've been told off for not rounding my U vowels enough in a video, so I'm trying to <laughs> trying to push it a bit. More. It's a it's a hard one for English speakers to get right. Um, it is. I, I, I think I've struggled with it some. Um, I feel like although Californians do it very naturally because of the D. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like the Scottish. Goose vowel is pretty front as well, but, but anyway. Him tha ellen roth unswarode, lank weather a leod, ward after spratch, howard under helme, where sint here larkis, where sint here larkis, <laughs> build you now, but uh, Beowulf is me nama. Beowulf is me wow. nama. <laughs> Finally, line three. <laughs> 43B for me. <laughs> yeah, 686, I guess. 87. Will the itch are said, John? Uh, Sonna Haldenes, Marum Feldne, mean Arende. Uh, Aldre Thinum, if he us ye unnon, uh, will it? That way, he ne swa gold ne great on Morton. Wolfgar Motherlode. That was uh, Wenda Leod, was his mod sever manigum yakuzed, uh, yakuzed. We and we stum, each thus uh, winna, winna deniga, frown shieldinga, frin and wille. Balga Britan, swathu bena out, theoden, theoden marne, um thine. Seeth. An the tha answare adre ye kithan, the me se goda um, a yivan sencheth. Hwaur tha hradliche thar 
Rothgar sat old and on har mit his eurlai dricht. Elde Ellen Roth, that he for Auslum ye stood, denig of frown, coo the he do the fowl. Wolfgar Madelo de to his winnedrich net. Her sind on ye ferede, feuron cumene, over Jovenes begang, yauto leode, sonne uldeston, or red mejos, beowulf nemnoth. Uh, yeah, Nemnoth, who ben on sint uh, that he thailed and mean with the uh, moton. Wordum, wordum, urichslon. Uh, no thu him warna yeteoch. Sindra yeinquida, I think that would be palatal, like, yeah. Yeinquida, gladmon, uh, rothgar. Hu on we yautum, wirde sinchaus, eurla ye achtlon, kuru se aldor dauch, se fam hauloringum hider wizode, wizode, rather. Yeah, you're trying to distinguish the WR from the R. Yeah. It was pointed out to me, it, it was pointed out to me once, I forget by who, that. In modern English, uh, what we do is actually fairly close to a WR. Our lips are sort of rounded anyway. Yeah. Maybe it was you who pointed this out to me. Um, so when you do the, like, it's almost like you have to almost do like a vowel there, you know, Urixlan. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I never know if, because um, I think it's phonemically interpreted as the, the W phoneme and then the R phoneme. But in actual speech, that could easily just be a, a trill with lip rounding like uh, yeah so rixlon versus rixlon yeah. yeah and if you yeah and if it's phonemic if it's phonemic status in your language you could distinguish it but you know modern english speakers obviously not a hard thing to, to make or hear yeah yeah i think that with with both the wl and the wr at the starts of words um there's some interpretations have it that it's both rounded and also um velarized so with an L, that yeah. sounds like L, L. With an R, I find it really hard to do. It's like R, R. Yeah, uh, L, L. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, another, a, what, what's that, sorry? There's a, or in Danish and Swedish, um, those are still there as Vs, mm. right? So you have a distinction between uh, I can think of a minimal pair, but like angry red, right? Red, um, as opposed to, I guess, red. Um, but of course, it's a little easier to hear with that approximate than it would be with a semi mm. Yeah, I feel like when it's the with the trill as well, like the turbulence of the trill cuts through acoustically, whereas if it's like a r, like as an approximate, like you say, then the it's almost like a vowel like it's it's liquid like there's no there's no kind of acoustic turbulence so it's easier to hear the the rounding but yeah one one more thing about pronunciation is that um jackson pointed out that i was doing voicing a bit weirdly in the last uh, one so what i was doing was in um so I, i'm sure sometimes it was just I, I definitely made a few mistakes where it was just mistakes but in in some of the compounds i was treating a compound as one word for the purposes of voicing but in in this mm. this recording i'm trying not to do that as much because i think there's maybe no actual no reason to do it um i think it's because i transcribed them in my little ipa transcription as um one word for prosody's sake so like like if so that like within the compound there's one stress syllable maybe just to make it kind of because i i think for um alliterative purposes i think that that there's rarely alliteration that uh where both parts of a a compound are, maybe, maybe i'm wrong about that actually yeah I went, i've I went typically to... taken the first member of the, the uh, compound to have full stress and the second to have kind of a half stress yeah um, that's... 
That's what it's doing. Gu, gu seoro, right? something like that. Mm-hmm. We're just pretty strongly emphasizing the first sam on it, right? But, um, so I shall try to do a little translation and sorry if I lose sight of the subject. Also, hopefully, uh, the hopefully lip reading is now possible as I've moved the camera a little bit down. Although do uh, let me know in the in the chat, obviously, if I slip below. Um, so the street was stone uh, adorned. Um, I've seen that just translated as like stone paved with stone. Um, footpath we saw they guided um, two men together I don't um, I look at the data plural but I don't know if there's any doesn't we son or we see on take a dative of the, the person being shown oh yeah okay, okay. It could well, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot of instances of that kind of thing where, like a a, a random verb will take a particular case that I, I I may have overlooked. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So the street was a do- like paved with stone. The footpath guided the men at Gadda together. Um, war male or war armor shone hard and hand looking like hand linked so i don't know if that means like handmade hand crafted um that's that's how i took it like kind of a i i suspect what we're the the mental image that's supposed to be given to the original audience is is a sense of you know thinking of the the hard, careful work of putting together uh, mm. linked mail, right? Like, yeah, like you know, the of, same way you say like hand hand worked or handmade today is kind of a statement of quality. It's kind of how I took it because clearly we're supposed to be picturing, you know, sharp dressed man. To do. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like handcrafted. Yeah. Ring iron bright. Um. I struggle with um, song in Saudun. Uh, I so Sao. I think the singular is Saudwar. I stand to be corrected. Um, so that's a dative plural. And uh, like Bosworth Tola has a load of translations like device or something like that. So I'm not sure if it's like the 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 rings like shape like sang like sang like rung in uh in this in this like sang in the garment maybe yeah i think sail can be kind of anything devised or made right okay. it's almost maybe as vague as modern english product that's okay. kind of how i took it um yeah. so i just took it as as you know it's saying in their armor or something like that isn't Saruman in Lord of the Rings supposed to be device man? Oh, I didn't know that. I think it's. I think this is the first element in his name. I need uh, to actually look into because it's Lord of the Rings is not. I've never read it. I tried to read the Silmarillion once. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not the not the thing you start with. I I, I learned the hard way. Um, I, I like the. You've idea. never read it. That's man. You need to drop this and. Do Simon Roper reads Lord of the Rings, right? I mean, I that would be a hit for you. I think it's it would be a very fun thing, because I like the idea of world building as well, and I feel like Tolkien's the the, the well known king of that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's very fun. I watched your recent video on the uh, the dwarf names. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I uh, um, uh, it's been a while since I read Lord of the Rings. We I, we could. Uh, Actually, the trouble with doing a read through or something like that is copyright. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, you could do like a read through instead of like this, a read through with all the text, just sort of you know a comment, a running commentary would be, I think, well within reason. Yeah, the, that could be that could be the sequel to Beowulf. Um, 
<laughs> next year's. I mean, it's yeah. We're gonna bring in how, Elran. How many orders of magnitude longer do you think? That's Lord of the Rings is available. But we wouldn't have to read the whole thing on screen. Maybe we could bring in Elran. Elran would be fun to, to get in on this. That's what he's going by on games night now. Luke Ranieri. Oh, right. Because there's so many Lukes. Yeah, he's, yeah, um, he's Elran. I was shown a video by Mark. Is it Mark Andrew Henry? Uh, Andrew Mark Henry. Andrew Mark Henry, sorry. Com the other day, completely like out of the blue. And I was like, hang on, I recognize this man's, this man's face. But yeah, very, very, yeah. very good. Nice videos. Yeah, I um, met him a couple months ago. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, I remember you mentioning. Um, I like Eleanor or Elena's suggestion of a react. Like, I just like the idea of me sitting there, like, with the book, like, like just doing those, like, just nodding at the book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we could do it. There's, but, like, do it there's a podcast called Ringheads uh, by two of the guys at Rift Tracks. Um, so Bill Corbett, formerly of Mystery Science Theater, and the writer Sean Thomason, where they read through the Silmarillion and then the Lord of the Rings, and they do something kind of like what I'm talking about, where they're not reading it on screen or on they, they don't read the whole thing on the podcast, but they just kind of comment as they go through it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a thought. Getting ahead of ourselves, we're on Beowulf now. Okay. Unless you want to sk sk skip right to that, we just cut it cut it out. Do Lord of the Rings, then we'll come back to Beowulf if we can be if we're still alive yeah. at that. Yeah, for so long. Yeah, it'd be a bigger, it'd be a bigger task to try to do that in a year. Yeah, I mean, if this if this goes well, it, it'd be fun, like kind of looking at how the format would work. And then we could really do voices. I yeah, want to hear your Gandalf. Mm. He'll always be nemesis. <laughs> Just like a really weak, like really, like an old yeah. man with a respiratory illness or something. <laughs> I'll smoke five cigars that day to get to that <laughs> point. Yeah. Um, I totally forgot what it was. Oh, sing. Oh, uh, yeah. Far he to sell. Um, as they um, indeed to the hall uh, came walking in their terrible garments. I, terrible terrible is like a weird translation maybe they're like fearsome maybe fearsome garments intimidating garments yeah yeah that's a nice maybe something like that, yeah it's another one of those words where like it's just used so many times throughout the poem in slightly different contexts and that's just, just oh yeah it's like as a list of what's that sort well it makes me think of modern english awesome right mm. which yeah. you could put in a context like this but also has a more colloquial meaning it's Bigger, yeah, yeah, that's a good example. Um, so they sat sea weary, uh, sea depth like wide, like wide shields. Um, or they set them down, do you think? The the weary, the sea weary set down the wide shields. Would that be? Oh, that maybe that makes sense more sense actually. Oh yeah, no, that does make more sense because it then says that they uh, then sit down themselves. That makes sense. So they set down the, the wide shields. Um, the rondas rain how they're the circles the round the rounds uh, very hard uh, against the hall's wall um, and then leaned down to to the bench um, or being down to sit on the bench, their garments ringing or their garments rang. Um, armor clad maybe warriors, like war clothing warriors uh, with spears stood, uh, seamen's of, of seamen's gear, Together, I, th I think somewhat at gather there just is two different words basically meaning together, as far as like together, together. together. And I together. think that a line or two above that, uh, gumina would be generative plural, right? Those ennas are always 
yeah. Chin Rapport, aren't they? So the so, Bernies rang out the war gear of the men. That makes more sense. Right. Yeah. Um, this bit confused me a bit. So asphalt uvon grey, so over like grey ash and ash holt, like a, a wood woodland of ash. I I feel like ash is ash is associated with spears, isn't it? Like spears made of ash. Um, but I, I think I think ash can be used in buildings as well. So it could be just the the like the whole the, the construction of the hall. But I feel like an ash ash would look is it like it's giving us a picture like we're supposed to you know think of this there's so many spears standing up that it's like an ash wood that's i think that's how i'd go with it because it would like woodland seems to imply trunks tree trunks um what's the 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 iron iron troop uh was worthied by weapons um, yeah that's to like double check my case it's wapnal data plural so like worthy by weapons um then you know, like the status shown by i guess would be kind of a thing or like the status confirmed by i guess would be what to do that I mean, there was a bit of discussion. In, in the last uh one i it may have been the the last it may have been fit three i, I think there was a bit of discussion around the 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 ward that goes to meet them um saying something along the lines of you're obviously not just whole men worthy by weapons we couldn't agree on whether that that the implication of that was that that would be a good thing or a bad thing um but it seems like here worthy by weapons definitely seems like it's got a good implication mm -hmm. so maybe that casts light on that but I can't remember exactly what what was what what the lines were. Yeah, I don't remember. You know, an hour ago. So <laughs> right, that's, that's, that's very reassuring because I don't either. Okay. Um, <laughs> there, then there, uh, stately men, um, soldiers after or like asked asked of the nobles, asked after the nobles. To where do you carry these? <laughs> where, uh, where do you, to where do you carry these gold-plated shields, uh, these grey sukan, these grey shirts and uh, visored helmets? of this this great number of army shafts i am so it's one on it's one on to where or from where i think it's I thought it was from where hang on i've got it glossed as whence yeah that is that Which is, is from, from where that is from where you're, you're right you're um, correct. apologies for that and and I'm, i know i'm being obnoxious here um but only because people seem to want some of the grammatical particularities. Um, mm. Did you say the subject here was plural? Because I think it's singular, right? Where carry you? Because the, the proud, well, the person speaking, the proud man, the Wonk Halif, he asks, right? Fran is singular, right? Or asked the... Yeah, no, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I, I always get confused by the unendings because it always, for some reason, it looks to me like a German plural, even though it is singular. Um, oh, you can you can just uh, safely erase German from your mind completely. No, um, I'm just going to say that for the, because I, I know I'm going to get jumped on in the chat for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to some extent, it is true. Like it, a lot of a lot of mistakes I make in old English, I find. That I'm making because um, because I'm thinking to, I'm like 
to some extent my brain is leaning on German as a base whereas there are a lot of things about Old English that are very different from German at the at the syntax level um so that I mean that is that is kind of good advice when um, trying to read it uh, no I think German speakers come at this with with a lot of advantages oh absolutely I think yeah they with a lot yeah probably not yeah. as much as an Icelandic speaker though yeah um, yeah, I mean, I, I think a German speaker is definitely in a better position to. Um, the same goes for English. I mean, the same goes twofold for English. Like, don't don't try and bring modern English intuition to it, because you might see a word that looks very obviously like something in modern English, and it's just a false friend. Or um, oh yeah, oh heck, I got owned on an old Norse cognate last time, right? Um, where I I got some false friend. So yeah, yeah I mean, I mean every, every language is is different, even the ones that are pretty close to each other. I got it. Simon Roper destroys Jackson Crawford. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. False friend. Yeah. If I if if I try to pick apart some minor mistake that you made, then I'm sure that you could completely eviscerate my entire re reputation <laughs> by doing the reverse. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just remembered that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll bear it in mind. <laughs> Be like cowering in my bed tonight, like shaking with fear. <laughs> good, good. That's what I wanted. Um, I'm Hrothgar's messenger and servant. Not saw I. Uh, I would say from. Uh, foreign land. Uh, this many men braver in their hearts i think that's a superlative isn't it so yeah. like or comparative yeah absolutely. yeah yeah comparative so i've never i've never seen this many men from any foreign land braver in their hearts uh, than than you so when uh when I'm, i've translated as expect um but it could be like i feel like it could be anticipate or like imagine or you know I, I imagine that this this is true so I, I, I expect that you uh, you haven't come here no that I expect that you have sought Prothgar for or out of pride and not um, because you've been exiled or banished i mean i i feel like you, you could read that as just for the sake of traveling but I, I feel like just just traveling probably wasn't really much of a thing yeah but, exile well, seems good i think that's a decent reading of it yeah because he's saying i mean part of it is it's it's going together with you know he just complimented their stuff yeah kind of laterally so i think it's like yeah you you know you came here and the and pride doesn't seem to be a bad thing no, yeah, right, because he's because he's he's Wolonk, a few lines above that himself. So, mm. so I expect that you have sought Hrothgar not uh, for pride, not because you've been exiled, but for uh, strength of like strength of heart or strength of mind. Um, Yeah, I guess to like show your strength of mind. Maybe that's part of being proud. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, the very strong answered him. Um, the proud wedded, which is, seems to be this this other ethnonym for the same group of people. Or proud, the proud prince of the wedded aren't the weathers, the wedders. Um, words then thereafter spoke uh, hard words, you could say like steadfast or something under uh, helmet. We are Hearlark's table companions. Beowulf is my name. There it is. There it is. At it's last. just so casually. It's funny. Why that do you think? Why do you think that is? Why, that why does he? I, I, it's got to be deliberate that he postpones it so much. 
yeah i don't know because it's i mean i i don't know this for a fact but i assume that beowulf as a title is something that's been retroactively added to the the text um i don't think it had a title in the the codex um yeah, yeah i'm not not sure because because it's it's not as if he's some random person who we've later ascribed importance to he is clearly the the big the big man of the story um but uh, like have you ever seen an action movie where um you know we start with a cutscene, you know kind of james bond style so punching out bad guys or whatever and you know this goes on for a few minutes and you don't see who's doing it and then i, I feel like this is kind of a late 80s action movie thing and then you know we've we've only seen the hero from the back, and then you know he turns around and puts on his sunglasses, and it's like, oh yeah, cool. It's it's whoever. Um, I wonder if it's kind of like that. Like we're, you know, maybe Beowulf is is kind of a franchise, and um, yeah, you know, maybe. who's the hero here? Oh, it's Beowulf. Okay, we've had hints because he's because he's a geet and he's the son of Edgedale and all, but yeah. I, I it, it kind of reminds me of like I don't I don't know how this I have read the Great Catsby, but I don't know how this is handled in the book. But in the, the recent ish film, like when this this mysterious person who throws loads of parties is just alluded to and oh who could he be? He's you know, some war hero or he like he's fucking some cartel leader, sorry for swearing, some cartel leader or something. Um and then just Leonardo DiCaprio just turns around in slow motion and there's all these fireworks behind it. <laughs> that told, yeah, that seems like exactly the kind of thing, right? Like, like, yeah. we're, we're building up anticipation. This is a cool guy that we're waiting for. <laughs> in, the, in the chat, uh, Alfie says Beowulf, James Beowulf. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that is it, though. Like, he, he says his name and then everyone in the room, like, cheers. Like, he said the line. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and actually, Ronbeck says, "Is it Bayo? Is how's the compound? Is it Bayo Wolf or Bayo Wolf? Pretty sure it's Bayo Wolf, because unlike an Old Norse, the W is part of the word wolf. Um, so it's B Wolf, right? Isn't that the yeah. usual explanation? Yeah. So I, I think there's ideas that it might be a kenning for something like wolf, like bear. Yeah, sorry, or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, isn't that the, I, that's what I've usually heard. Which is kind of interesting because I mean he's I think he's uh, just a few lines he was in my fit, but yeah, and, um, three fourteen for me I guess it's six twenty eight for other people. Um, he and his troop are called uh, or Sum Guthberna the the war bears, um, mm. and the analogical character in the saga for Kraki both both are Bjarki is uh he turns into a bear and his dad was a bear so right. uh, the the bear thing seems to be pretty strong i do like the the, the imagery of the bee being being shown in there because I, I don't know there's something i like about the imagery the imagery of like insects because it's we think of like i don't know like early medieval imagery is containing a lot of like wolves and bears and even even like birds in in early medieval England, like bird bird motifs were a big thing. But like um, insects seem like overlooked in the way we think of uh, early medieval thought and culture. But obviously they were all around and everyone was aware of them. Um, yeah, although I, I think ticks you'd have on at any given time. That's true. Yeah, I wonder if people made the connection between ticks and like Lyme disease and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think I think in it may have been the Canterbury. I can't. I think it's a Middle English text um, where bees are referred to as little birds. Um, so whether that was just a metaphor or like a, an actual reflection of how they categorize them. Um, but as a as a bird bird man yourself, are bees birds taxonomically? <laughs> uh, I think in Old English or early modern English, early Middle English, where um, I mean, probably the word we're talking about is fowl. Right, which is etymologically flying things. I mean, I could I could see it, right? Mm -hmm. I can see that being part of the semantic taxonomy of bird, same way that a whale is a fish. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Adrian asks in the chat, uh, Old Norse is Bjolver, that's the cognate name. Um, so oh, in I fact, see. in Icelandic today, 
this poem uh, can be referred to as Bjolf's Kvila, mm. right? So just like okay. Thrym's Kvila or something like that in the Poetic Edda. I've never seen the longer uncontracted form uh, Bjolver, Bjolver, though. But is, that is a name in Icelandic, is it? It's an, it comes up, you know, the, the sagas have just, you know, you, I mean, you, you, you know how it is, it's just conveyor belts of names coming at you. So just out there somewhere, and I can't even remember where the context is, it's not about this guy, but the name Bjolver does come up. Okay. And so that would be a cognate if it is the B wolf thing. So okay. It's okay. out so, there. The name is out there, but, but he's not specifically described in Old Norse. Okay. Unless he's the same guy, basically, in Rolfsaga Kraka, which is a similar guy, anyway, but not the same name. And, then we, and we get some Theodins in here. More Theodins. Um, so we are uh, Helax. Have I? Yeah, that's where I am. We are Helax, table companions. Beowulf is my name. Uh, I, again, will there. I want to declare, or I must, I need to declare, um, son of half Dane, uh, great king, lord, you know, whatever, however you want to translate that. Um, I want to, I must, I need to declare my errand. Um, to your prince. Um, if he grants us that we uh, that we so like swa here could could maybe be like in the same way as in in very very dated English you might say that that we might greet the same like referring back to a previous oh that's what you mean yeah that's that's how I read it. So like that if he I think, grants I think it's a good good way to take it, yeah. Um so yeah, I want to declare my errand uh to your prince if he grants us the ability to greet him. Um am I uh is my audio coming through all right or should I talk a bit louder? Oh, I seem fine to me. Okay, cool. Um Wolfgar spoke. Uh, that was Wendell's leader. So here we have this this oh, the Wendell thing, yeah. Wendell or Wend Wendar. So Wolfgar spoke. That was Wendell's leader. Um, was his inner, like his inner soul, uh, known to many. So I've seen this translated as. He, his his courage was known to many which seems like a reasonable translation or like his spirit was known to many um, or maybe even his intelligence i think that's kind of kind of ambiguous is um, some some mental qual his his yeah his mental qualities his personality his his, his character yeah. maybe maybe character would actually be a decent way of putting that i mean I like to, yeah that sounds good because it's it's interesting because maud is used a lot in old english um, I think Seva is used quite a lot as well. So it's it, it's one of those things where like some words, uh, it, it's just hard to translate them because they could mean any of a number of abstract concepts. But if a person is reading this, all they have to go on, even if they're an old English speaker, is the words that are used. So it must have meant something, unless um, I suppose the concepts could just have been more nebulous. And um, mm. yeah, I mean, abstract concepts are even more well and and um spectral than uh, certainly in old norse and i think in old english too a lot of words for mind double as words for courage so hugger mm -hmm. is typically the word for you know the inner part of you that experiences things your thought your soul but it also just means courage so i think okay. a lot of these words have that double role in old english too okay that makes sense so was his his courage was widely known word like famous to, to many um his we his battle maybe like the implication is his bat his capability his battle skill and wisdom so. um 
I intend to, or I want to ask this to the friend of the Danes, the Lord of the Shieldings. Hopefully I've not messed up the cases there. Um, the Ring Guardian. Yeah, he was, he's buttering up uh, Hrithgar here, it looks like. Yeah. Um, here's another use of swa, which confused me a little bit. So I, I read it as like, as as you are, or as, because, because, I feel like because seems like too much of a stretch. Like, as if you are demanders, as if you are uh, people who are, requesting something or asking asking something Bena, like yeah like like is the idea that this is an unsolicited visit kind so, of I, I think that yeah so like i want to ask you, you know, a friend of dan sort of shootings um distributive rings um as though you're the petitioner Mm. Um, something like that I, like kind of kind of saying like this is a breach of protocol because you didn't ask this guy here something like that yeah okay yeah um, you've come here to uh, where have I got that from uh, Theoden Marina was the next part. The fourth line or half line of which he's buttering up Hrithgar. <laughs> um, that famous lord about your journey. So you've come to, uh, I want to ask this to the. Um, oh, he's talking. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, conf I'm now confused about it. Right, Wolfgar spoke. He's talking to Bill. I think I would say so. Yeah, I like them. Okay, I, I guess I was thinking about, for whatever reason, because of all the stuff about the Lord of the Shillings and all. I was thinking like he was talking. Although this is to Hrothgar. he's talking to Bill. So. So maybe it's I, like I have to go and ask Frothgar. So it's not what? as if you're the petitioner, it's because you're the petitioner. It is kind of a cause ish. Okay. Right. Okay. So um, I let's see. So I have to go and ask or consult. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think I don't think it's necessarily ask. I think this is a little bit. I think this is one of those verbs that can be like ask, learn, right? It can be learned by asking, right? So is he saying, "All right, I want to learn for the friend of the Danes, for the Lord of the Shieldings, for the distributor of rings," um, because you're the petitioner. I want to go tell you know, the great chieftain about your journey. Mm -hmm. I think because the, you're the petitioner. Yeah, that 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 makes the that makes the Swathu being out thing make more sense in context, I think. Yeah, I think I'd probably just miss misinterpret the whole. But yeah, so the implication is he's he's going to go and consult Frothgar or tell Frothgar about the journey, about these people's journey. Um, By the way, this is one of the hardest things about reading this text sometimes is figuring out who's talking to who. Yeah. Um, yeah, but this I is what I'm worried about with I, the voice. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I should have been doing that in this other voice. How confusing. Yeah, I've, I've had to make notes to myself sometimes about who's talking after I figure out who's talking. Um, it probably would help me to actually while I'm preparing the, the IPA thing, like actually highlight things and decide who I think is talking in different things, in different uh, lines. But yeah, so um, 
on faith or on sorry and to you the answer quickly make known that to me uh say god or the good the good one the, like cons considers to return like decides to answer so qu and quickly tell you the answer that he gives um he turned hastily that answer to you swiftly no that one which to me the good one thanks to return yeah this is a little bit of a jumble when you put it in modern english but i guess he's kind of promising he's going to come swiftly back with hrothgar's reply yeah i think so so turned then like he turned then hastily um there or i mean maybe you could say to to where like no maybe that's a bit of a stretch i think so like, to where hrothgar sat uh old and uh i don't know if anhar means something different to har but i've just translated it as like gray um isn't it kind of intensifying like he's exceptionally gray maybe yeah. right that's kind of how i took it he's super old he's 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 stayed in when they first meet him in the two tap mm -hmm. <laughs> i feel like i need to read a lot of the rings to get these records um with his uh company of earls so fraud god sitting with his company of earls um walked powerful i think the subject has just been dropped here so i think this is the i think this is hrothgar's ward person um walked powerfully so that he stood to the shoulders of the dane's lord uh, and i do like that shoulder like shoulders is auslon um is this, I don't know if the singular is just Arsel, um, but yeah, this. I'm not like, sure I've seen it in the singular. Axles. I don't. I don't think I have either. But yeah, like the word axle being used for shoulder. Um, he knew the custom of warriors, so maybe that's like he was accustomed to the this this maybe this routine of how how it works maybe i don't know if that's reading too much into it um yeah the customs of how to introduce people and stuff like that i guess yeah yeah um wolfgar spoke to his friend lord his wiener drichten um and drichten is is a word uh in particular where i've seen variant spellings within the same text where sometimes it's with e and sometimes it's with e so um i've tried to normalize it to drichten here um when i'm reading but i'll probably probably mess it up sometimes but so he he spoke to his friend lord here are traveled felrun kumene far come over the sea's course people of uh the geats the the oldest um this this looks like it should be the oldest of the warriors but then that's not a genitive plural i don't think and i think it's oret mejes is the subject of nemnod Oh, I see. Okay, right, because singular would be Nemneth, right? So isn't it like I see. they name the oldest one Beowulf, which is yeah. kind of funny because Beowulf did directly say what his name was, so like he's being still kind of coy. Yeah. So they call him Beowulf. Um, they're requesting <clears throat> that they, my lord. uh might exchange words with you or might exchange with word wordum um yeah i might exchange words with you 
Uh, here's another one that I found a bit difficult to, to translate. So, um, no su him warna yetel. I try, I glossed it as like not you them difficult matters. Your responses, sinra yein kuida. So they they they're requesting that you exchange words with them and maybe like not be too difficult about it with your responses not give them a yeah. hard time like like never show him or show them um right the like i guess this is part of the formality because he's not really expecting him to say oh no i don't want to see him yeah. right yeah but I guess this is the formality of going through, like, I have to, you know, act like everything is at your pleasure and disposal. Yeah. Um, hmm. And then he says, Let's... like, good, kind, good, you know, <laughs> like, good, good frogger. So, yeah, I, I feel like, it, yeah, that, that sounds good, right. Good... Uh, Rothgar, glad man. Yeah. Glad man. Uh, I wanted to see what the him wearing a I just want to see what I put together with this out of the glossary in the bag. So never show them a refusal, like maybe like in your answers, in your game with uh, your back talks. Yeah, I think it's just part of that whole formality because also the gladmon is probably part of the formality too. It's you know, it's like Hrothgar sire. Probably something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, uh, maybe it harks back to the fact that he sort of knows the custom. He knows the tradition, like he knows what he's supposed to do, and then this yeah. is what what he's supposed to do. Go through all of this. Yeah, you don't just go up there and say, "Hey, guy named Bill, at the door. You, you want to talk to him?" Yeah, it's not like that. He's got to get up, you know, close to him and do all the formalities. And, yeah. Um. So they on war gear. So I've interpreted this. Uh, I think I glanced at another translation just because I I was trying to work out what this on was doing, and I I think it said something like they judging by their war gear on the basis of their war gear they seem worthy of the respect of earls. Um. Huru, like at least the prince or the leader is useful to uh, guided the warriors here. Yeah. So he's advising Frothgar to hear them out and saying that they seem they seem legit. Yeah. Uh Alana says in the chat, uh, not everyone agrees in the stage blocking, whether he's speaking at or behind with his shoulder or if he speaks to him shoulder to shoulder. Um, mm. But I take four is more like in front of, like in front of his shoulders. Me, in yeah. which case, I don't know why shoulders is there, except that it gives you the vowel alliteration. But, you know, it strikes me that he's, you know, Hrothgar's on his throne and or his cool chair and this guy's coming up in front of him. Maybe it's just maybe it's just like a, a saying that implies physical closeness, like he's letting him. I don't know. I mean, that, yeah, that's probably reading too much into it. Or maybe it means like straight on, like you know. Yeah, like yeah, in, yeah. Like um, he's he's not to the side. He's it's it's a formal presentation, so everything's like very linear. I don't know. Or yeah. I mean, if you want to read into this too much, probably uh, Frithgar is really ailed on Anhar. So maybe he has a hard time hearing, so you have to get real close to his shoulders to him to hear you. Possibly, yeah. Um, that's, that's a possibility. I can't hearken diddly, my bell tones out. <laughs> uh, as the uh, rift tracks for the two towers has it. So. I do like the idea of, of Hrothgar like now having this extremely like thick rural like southwestern US accent now in his old age. <laughs> like 
Oh, you are antic- you're 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 anticipating my next move. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel so yeah. If anyone can do that, you can do it. I bet I can hold it. It's, it'll, not everybody will like it. It might be fun, give them some character. No, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun. It'd be fun to hear that mix mingle with old English. We'll see what I can do. So so we're we gonna head on to six. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Hrothgar Mataloda, Helm Schildinger. It's in a coo the knicht was in there. Where's his old fatter it's there hat in Sam to hum for ye for the ye to angando. Is his ever a new haired hair coom and so to hold no win? Pon a sight on sad sad leaving the fire. You shit as ye to hear it on the little thanker. That he three tears man a may in craft on his moon creeper hear the raw habit. In a halley god for our Savamus on sender to West Denham Thessage Wayne had a with Grinless Grir. Each them got on shale for his mode thratcher mat must bear them. Bear through on all the star hat in gone sail and sibber ye drift some of that gatherer ye saga him eag wordum that he has sent welcome and denigre leodum. Oh, wow, there's like uh, one third as many people here. Uh, waiter a leodum ward in a bed. Eo hit sejan, si it rest in mean, aldor eos dena, that he eor adalu can, on ye him sindon over sa will mas heard hijin de hider wilkoman. Nu ye motan gangan in eorum gul ye tawum under herakriman rothgar seon. Lactad hildeborg her on bidan. Udu while she of this warder, the thing is. Arasta se rica um hine rinch money, Thridlich thank na herp, summa fair bidon her do real hildon, swa him se herde a bear. Snurredon at somna tho sege wisode, under herotis rove. Eo de hilde de or her under helma, that he on herde is stowed. Beowulf Mataloda, on him Birnashan, Serra net Seowed, Smithes Orthankum. West through Rothgar Hall, it am he like his may on Magothane. Have he itch mare the fella on Gunan on Yeogotha. May wears Grindless thing on Minra Abeltir from Dirna Kuth, Seja Sadleven, that best Silistander. Richard Silister Rinka Yehwilkum, Edel on Unmute. So then Avon left under heaven as Hador, behold, where that. So may that you laird and laird a mean as the Sailistan, snotter a chairless, the other Hrothgar. But it's the Sochte, for then he a may in his craft mean a Kuthan. Silva oversaw on the itch of Serum Quam, fa from Founden, the itch, Fiva Yaban. If the Eotan akin, and on even slow nature nist this, neer a there of a dre. Greg Witter and Neve, when a sodon, asodon, for Grand Gam Gramum. I knew with Grendelshale, with them I lack an Anna Yehean thing with Thirsa. It's the new the Brega Berk Dana, bit and willa, Eder shooting it on Rebena, that thu men if we're wearing a we in her flail, for a win a folka, new itch thus fair on calm. That itch mota Anna, mean right air lay your dreams. And this hair to hair up hair at Falsion. Happy H. A. 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 Sakan, la, with latum. There you live in shale, drechnus doma, sethe hinne deeth nimith. 
Wain is the hey wheeler, ye hey wheel than moat, in them goose the yet and a leo de et an umforta. So he oft do de may and hurt mana. Now thou meaneth erft, have a lun hudan, a he may have an wheeler drew in a fachna, ye have made death nimeth, beareth bloody wild, bury an sanctus, etteth an yang un murn leeche, merket more hopu. Now thou im meaneth neth erft leeches ferma lang sorry an, an sin he like a Yef make hill nimmer. Beard is good, beard do shrewd a bed that mean a brayest wedded, frailest sailest, fattest, fratlan laughed, while on does ye work. Gather words for here, shall. The only thing I would say is that I think Beowulf sounds too much like Dr. Jackson Crawford. <laughs> does he? <laughs> I'm joking. I was actually no. going, uh, so that was impressive. I was kind of thinking. Uh, William Shatner was kind of what I was going for. Like <laughs> Captain Kirk is Beowulf, right? Like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's, that was that was my my deal. I don't know. It just it just struck me. So now I'm picturing, I'm 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 picturing um, the super aged Theoden in in Two Towers for Hrothgar, and um, and Captain Kirk is Beowulf. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that probably. That's probably what the author was going for. I think so. I, I, I mean, going. in a sense, maybe, right? I mean, you know, we got to remember, Hrothgar, he is, you know, he's not just hot, he's on high, right? He's, he's, he's super mm -hmm. gray. So Hrothgar said, the, uh, the leader of the Shieldings, I knew him as a boy. Uh, his old dad was named Edge, Theo. Uh, uh, that one to home, oh, okay, Hrethel of the Geats, the king, gave to that one his only daughter uh, for home. So, Hrethel, like king of the Geats. Yeah. Um, all right, so um, now his hard offspring, his tough offspring is, has come here, has sought a loyal friend. Um, then the seafarers said that when they brought gift treasures for the Geats uh, to thank them there, that he would have, subjunctive because it's something they're saying, um, the battle strength of our no, it's different. That that the battle brave one has the strength, the strength, strength of thirty men in his hand grip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> holy God sent him to us for for glories. I guess for the glories of God, of God uh, to the West Danes. Um, I reckon this against Grindel's terror. Uh, I shall offer him, I shall offer to that good one treasures for his, uh, his big load of courage, his abundance mm. of courage. Yeah. I never know whether to translate shall as like, as must or shall. Oh, must is probably good. Yeah. I must because, I mean, he's, he's, and of course, it's sort of a formal de declaration here, anyway. Like I've certain, you know, we certainly owe him good treasures. Yeah. Um. So be you uh, on the, the fastest kind of like the opposite. Of, um, like, in haste. Hmm? like in haste, like be you in haste. Yeah, be, be in haste. Yeah. Uh, command him to go in. Um, the the. Companions to be seen, um, both Old Norse and Old English, you get these infinitives that uh, are kind of passive in use. Um, I, I here we have it. To, hmm? I struggled to interpret that, so I'm I'm glad. I'm sure that's what it is, and that's how Claver takes it in the apparatus, too. Yeah, I checked because I was kind of curious about it. I, I, I kind of thought. It's probably like that because you see this in Old Norse, but yeah, it's apparently a thing in Old English too. And then we have kind of the repeated together together thing again, Samo the Gatara. 
So like command them to go in the troop to be seen, to gather together, say to him also in words that they are welcome to the peoples of the Danes. And then, um, so there's apparently a lacuna here probably. Uh, so, cause we skip right to Wolfgar talking to Beowulf and company, right? So, um, he, Wolfgar, offered a word uh, within to the peoples of the Wetters of the Geats. Uh, my victory lord, Hrithgar, ordered me, and I don't see the word me, but it's clearly who was ordered, uh, to say to y'all, right, my victory lord, the, the lord of the East Danes, um, like 10 lines ago was the West Danes. So again, this is clearly just for alliteration. Um, he ordered me to say to y'all that he knows y'all's noble, y'all's prince, and y'all are uh, welcome. You, you hard thinking, which probably like strong thinking, tough yeah. uh, fellas are welcome hither, here, over the sea waves. Uh, now y'all must go walk uh in y'all's battle close your armor under helmets to see hrothgar let uh your weapons your your battle gear although they're going to wear their armor uh wait here um, <laughs> or uh, wait on would right. um, would he would would the board be like modern board like battle boards like shield shield yeah I'm yeah, sure. yeah that makes more sense you know what maybe i'm uh, uh analogizing t this too much to a scene that's knocked off of it the scene in the two towers where they come to uh, to see if they in um yeah let your shields wait here the wood the death shafts uh wait on on beat on the meeting of words, the Yathingus Warda. Yeah, so come in in your armor, but let leave your shields and your weapons out here. Seems like uh, yeah, I, part of the formality. About the the word thing, would you would you interpret that as kind of like leave leave your things out here so that we can talk properly, or like leave your armors out, out here and then we'll talk kind of thing? Or because I I was I was struggling to. Well, he wants them in their armor, right? He says you're going to meet. In oh. Aorum Guthiatalum, oh, under Heragrimon, they're just leaving the offensive stuff outside. Yeah, okay. But I guess also, in a culture like this, your armor is your dress clothes. So, yeah, it's okay. probably the most, I'm sure anything else they could change into right now would uh, be less impressive than their armor. Yeah. Um, but leave the offensive stuff behind. Um, so then the powerful one arose. Uh, many men around him, uh, a strong heap of thanes. Uh, some waited there to hold the, uh, the battle stuff, the weapons, uh, as the hard one, the tough one, asked them. Uh, they turned together uh, when the man showed them, like kind of where the man showed them, under Herod's roof, the uh, the hard under helmet uh, battle deer battle brave I guess again uh, mm -hmm. so that he stood at the hearth that hay on hair they stowed Beowulf Madaloda Beowulf spoke the uh, the armor <laughs> shone on him that cunning net sewed with the orthonk there's another um uh, word associated with Saruman and Lord of the Rings. Um, that cunning net sewed with the, uh, the the cunning thought of the smith. It's funny, you know, just in these few fits, there's a ton of words that come up in the Lord of the Rings, right? There's the Seru, there's Deagle. Um, there's so what is Orthunk? Where does that appear in Lord of the Rings? Is it is it like a name, or is it the is it used in the sense of like it's it's Saruman's tower? Oh, okay. 
I think, really? inside the place which is called Isengard. Yeah. Um, so there's yeah, there's a lot of old English in in uh, the two towers, especially. Um. So. Uh. West through Hrothgar Hall. I mean, if we're going to translate that into Kirk, it's just hey, Hrothgar. <laughs> I don't know exactly. No. So be be well, Hrothgar. Mm. Uh, West Hall. Uh, I'm Higlex. I'm Higlex kid. He's his retainer. Um, I have uh, uh, begun uh, many famous deeds in my youth. I like the idea of walking up to someone and just being like, um, you know, I've done many famous deeds in my youth. Yeah. <laughs> in, in my, I mean, you're, uh, if you ever start that way, I mean, you meet someone new and you just don't know how many YouTube subscribers you have or something. I mean, it, <laughs> I guess it's the same thing. But that's part of what made me think Captain Kirk, right? I mean, he just, like, he opens up, he's, he's just swaggering in. You know, it's, it's very, <laughs> somehow it's very shattered to me. I like the idea um, of somebody putting that line in a job interview. Yeah, I've done many famous things, but you. Uh, well, how many years experience do you have doing famous things in your youth? <laughs> We've got a training program here. <laughs> That's a fantasy. Um, Grindel's meeting. I mean, almost it almost is like Grindel's Grindel's thing. Uh, became known to me, um, unhidden on my ancestral turf. Um, the sea travelers say that this hall stands subjunctive because it's something they're saying the happiest building uh idle and unuseful for all men after the evening light under heaven's confinement becomes hidden and almost like heaven's lid yeah so after um, after sealed by night it's useless right that's when the Simon-faced Grindel comes out. Um, then, if if does Grindel ever say anything? Because it'd be fun to try to give him your voice, just just to be a jerk. But I don't I, think he ever says anything. I don't know if he does. No, I'm just I'm just being a jerk. I mean, no, um, I, I I have a voice in mind. I have. Have you seen um? <laughs> oh, what's it called? What's that? Um, the Tenacious D song. The best song in the world tribute, where the the demon pet played by Dave Grohl pops up, and then Jack Black starts singing what the demon is saying. That's the voice I would go for. That's that's a good choice. Although I don't think he says anything. Oh well, we'll have to make say that voice for say that voice for someone else. <laughs> Got to give somebody the Picard voice. Mm. Um. Uh, Give someone a Darth Vader voice. Just drive people crazy. Um, then, uh, let's see, they they uh, told me that, uh, okay, they, the happiest of my people, told me that, and they also are the wiser men, uh, they told me that Theod and Hrothgar, uh, that I ought to seek you, I think that is a past tense subjunctive, uh, because they knew my strength's strength. Um, they saw I came decorated or colored, presumably with blood, um, from crafts, from doings, from, from my enemies. I don't exactly know what all of Sarah was. Or they saw maybe from their crafts when I came from my enemies colored or decorated, again, I think maybe for blood. Here. I think, yeah. <clears throat> um, then, there... I was, I was just going to say this bit confused, confused me. So he says, uh, there, I think actually, when, is what we would say here in English, when I bound five, yeah. um, which I think you can just mean fought five. Um, okay. uh, I destroyed the kin of Jotuns, giants, monsters, 
and struck in the waves the the the, the knickers, the sea monsters of night. Um, uh, endured uh, extreme need, extreme emergency, narrow there. Uh, avenged hateful deeds that had been done on wetters, on geats. The they sought woe. I don't know if that's like the, the attackers were asking for woe, like the attackers were. Yeah. Well, provoked. think of it as a cat. Think of it as you know Captain Kirk saying it, right? They asked for trouble. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I think it's kind of what he's saying, right? I mean, because he's he's talking about this is some of the, uh, you know, this is some of that Mara the fella on Gunan on his on his yoga, the right, like he's, he's yeah. Um, I ground up hostile ones, and now I must against Grendel, against that fear maker. Uh, hold a meeting alone with the monster the hagan thing anna with thirsa yeah is so. he alone or is the monster alone i guess it kind of doesn't matter but grammatically i think maybe it's i, I think, alone i think i i interpreted it as he alone but i feel like very fairly soon afterwards he he then says something like i may alone and also my <laughs> with my earls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. Which is also uh reminds me of something in the summer land. But um I wanna ask you uh now uh Lord of the Bright Danes, um Prince of the Shieldings, one favor, Honor Bana, um that you not refuse me, that you never wear a may. Um, Lord of Fighters, um, Lord Friend of Armies, uh, now that I come so far from so far, that I meet alone, yeah, I guess that is him, um, with my troop of noblemen and, um, and this, oh, that I'm, that, yeah, that I must alone, that I may alone with my troop of noblemen and this hard group purify, cleanse Herod. Um, maybe, maybe the alone, maybe the implication of that is just don't get your people involved. We'll deal with it. Without kind of Danes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no cost to the Danes. Um, I have also learned, again with that ask learn thing, and kind of herb does both, that the uh, the fear maker, the monster, uh, does not care uh, for weapons because of his recklessness. I didn't know if that meant he doesn't it, he doesn't use weapons himself, or he doesn't care if you come with a load of weapons. Oh, either one seems fine, right? I mean, like either one kind of is true, right? So I, I guess it could go either way. Um, let's, let's see. I just that time. Okay. I think then as a helac, uh, to me, my hand lord, man lord, Blithe of spirit that I bear. Am I missing something that for Hija means specifically? That's not just Hija. Um, could be something else. Uh, check what this says in the glossary. Oh, I scorn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is something different. I think. Okay. I scorn it then uh, as Helak is to me, my man lord, blithe of spirit. I don't necessarily even know what these lines are doing, although I understand the word, because it seems like the scorn comes down to 437 for me, that I scorn that I bear a sword or a wide shield. But I, I don't know what's going on in the middle exactly. Why is he talking about Higgelak all of a sudden? So I, I don't know what that's doing in there, 
but I interpreted it as maybe him likes to some extent explaining his motive, like I'm doing this to so that like to gain favor maybe with Helark or to make him happy or something like oh, that. Oh, so that Helark may be see a subjunctive, just a subjunctive, so that Helark may be blithe of spirit to me, my man lord. Because of that, I scorn to bear a sword. I think it's actually a good interpretation. Uh, because I guess Halak's gonna, you know, give him a high five when he gets back and tells him that he did this without weapons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this I feel like this is this is fairly important because it explains what hitherto has has been unclear why he like what's motivating him to just come all this way and risk a load of money and like well, you know, not, not money explicitly, but people's lives and equipment. And also yeah. his 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 kinsmen, I think it says in an earlier fit, don't disapprove of him doing it. They understand why he's doing it. Oh, I mean, he said in, in just earlier in this spe little speech, you know, um, they advised, the wise ones advised me because they knew of my strength that come here, right? So... So I guess also he's sort of emphasizing he's not just some outlaw, some Ronin, um, yeah. Who's mm -hmm. and maybe part of this, I mean, this is this comes from knowing more of the story later. Part of this is, um, Hrothgar just has two really little kids, right? So he's maybe trying to emphasize I have strong roots in another community. I'm not here to take over Denmark, right? Right. Like he's emphasizing his strong connections back overseas. So oh, nice. I think that that may be part of it too, like kind of a kind of part of that courtly politeness you know i'm not here to step on your toes um in fact not even looking to get any danes hurt right uh we're we're here and, and he does explain or hrothgar explains um that there's an old family connection between hrothgar and edge there yeah um okay um, um so i scorn to bear a sword or a long shield a wide shield a, a yellow shield to battle uh, but I, uh, I shall with grappling as a wrestler, I will wrestle with the, the enemy and, uh, wager about life, a hated one against a hated one, uh, there, that one who death takes shall resign him. Oh, cause yeah. Old English doesn't have a reflexive pronoun. You, you poor, you poor dear. So it is himself. Um, should resign himself to the judgment of God. So yeah, the one who's gonna gonna die will be resigned to God's judgment. I reckon that he wants, if he may wield in the battle hall. Uh, I work. I reckon if he can get it done, right? It's not not wield if he can. Yeah. 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 Like if he can, he'll he'll eat the unafraid in the battle hall. Uh the unafraid people of the Geats in the battle hall. As he often did, the uh the strength glory of men. With this is a metonymy or whatever that poetic term is, probably where that strength glory is like when you're talking about, you know, like the 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 bloom of men or something like that. Right, so like the strength glory, like he's already eaten some really cool guys. Yeah, yeah. And I think that he, I think that he would eat geats too in this hall if he could. Yeah, yeah. Uh, never. Uh, do you need to hide my head? Presumably, a really euphemistic way of talking about burying me. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have to bury me. Um. But he uh, wants to have me uh, decorated with blood. If death takes me, bear uh, bloody loot. I guess that refers to his corpse. Um, he thinks to taste probably me. Uh, the alone walker uh, eats unmournfully, happily. So yeah. He's picturing Grendel triumphing over him. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe like guiltlessly without any yeah uh, unmournfully yeah 
Um, oh man, maybe now I should be thinking of uh, Grendel as the Gorn captain, right? And he's going to fight the this guy in this horrible, you know, reptile alien suit like this. You know, like he's going to he's going to do the Kirk fighting. <laughs> oh man, this is this is this is opening my eyes to so many new possibilities for Beowulf. Um, I reckon we should do a feature film after this. I reckon we should do three feature films with different actors in each one. Well, well, they base um, the 2007 Beowulf on Neil Gaiman. We, where's the? I mean, there's there's already 25 Beowulf movies. Where's the the Crawford Roper interpretation? <laughs> um, get funding. I'll get it done. He he marks uh, his his more hiding place. Presumably with blood. Uh, now you don't need to sorrow for long about my body's sustenance. So you don't have to worry about eating them or feeding them. Uh, send Higalak if uh, battle takes me. Send him the best of battle shrouds, my, uh, my armor that protects my chest. Happiest of garments uh, that is uh, uh, beloved to Crevel, who is the king of the Geats, Beowulf's grandfather, right? Because his dad, Hedgetheo, was married to the king's daughter. Yeah. Uh, it is Wayland's work. So there's a reference to a character we know from the Poetic Edda on Old Norse. And then my favorite line in Beowulf, and one that I've spilled a lot of ink on for a lot of years uh, weird always goes as it must. Fate always goes as it must. I see that taken a lot of different ways, but I like that. This is it's this it's, is it's one of the. It's actually not quite my favorite line, but I, but it's one that I've, I've worked on quite a bit. Have, have we come across your favorite line yet? No, no. Uh, we I don't think we will too soon. But it's also it's also a weird line. I I I've spent a lot of time on all the weird and meta, all the fate and stuff with, in Beowulf. This is actually, as well as having a reference to Wayland, who's obviously a, a figure that pops up a lot um, and would, would be known to the to anyone who read this. Um, the the final the, the goes goes fate as it must goes fate as she must line um, is actually the one I was thinking of when I said there's a line where like a load of like dialect or um, spellings are thrown in so the last two in particular so shell is clearly oh. not how it's normally spelling shall um i see what you mean and heo heel yeah exactly so yeah. this different spelling now it's it's obviously there are some cases where um like like i said about the um what we said about drichten where you have like alternations between i and y and stuff like that so it's 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 possible it's just the like it just the author spelling things differently because there was no standardized spelling system. But this this is a normal way of spelling um, a a diphthong that occurs in other dialects, um, which sometimes maybe. arises from. What are you gonna say? Maybe so? something he heard. Maybe something he heard from someone from somewhere else. Something he's only heard in a like. This yeah, is, like it's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know. Especially since you say it's like he. As you point out, it's like a kind of it. It almost sounds like a kind of saying mm. that's that's yeah. almost a fossilized. Yeah, like as as KF says, like a formulaic phrase that which could explain the dialectal spelling. Like it's like a Kesera, like, Sera. yeah. Kesera, I, Sera. I, I I guess uh, you know I was trying to think of what the closest thing in modern English is to this as a fixed phrase, and it might be just. You're going to get that. So you want to give us seven? I Just beforehand, I'll point out Richard Carlson's interpretation of a line a little way up, uh, which is, it says, as true as he lack is kind, I'll lay down my weapons and beat the enemy. So maybe it is like, maybe it is um, like as long as, as long as he lack is good or as long as he lack is kind kind of thing. You know, either way, it still strikes me as a weird, a weird inhalation, yeah. Right, because he he's he's it's kind of an action-packed declaration, right? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this guy without a sword, but he has to throw in this weird 
you know, acknowledgement of his 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 king. I wonder if, you know, this is just part of what I said about establishing how deep his roots are, right? Even in the middle of bragging, you know, reminder that I'm a geek, I'm sticking with the geek, you know, I'm not trying to step on Danish toes here. I wonder if that's part of it. Maybe. Like he's yeah. just trying to, like he's, he's name dropping geekish things to kind of remind people, yeah, you know, I'm totally geek, not trying to, not trying to step on toes. Yeah. 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 Maybe. It could, yeah, it could be that. And maybe that's part of the formality of maybe. how you express certain things. But, yeah, and this so. is the, uh, this is the fit where Hrothgar explains how they knew each other. Mm. So, Hrothgar, Motherlode, Helm, Schildinga, or Wera Fichtum, so Winamin, Beowulf. And for Arstavum, Usich, so test. Yesloch thin fader, fach the master. Wauth he, howlolave, howlolave, to hand bonan, mid wilvingum, tha hina wedera kin. Or uh, herebrogan, habban ne michte, sanum he yesochte, soothtena folk. Um, Other South Danes. South Danes, yeah. <laughs> Over either ye walk, or Schildinga, tha ich furthum weld folk, folke deniga. And on ye yogude held, yimmeritche. I think that'd be Yimme. Yimmeritche, Hordbur, Halida, Thawas, Heregar, Dowd. I wonder if that's an alternative spelling of Hildegard. I'd have to, well, yeah. Min Yildra Mai Unliviende, Bauern Haufdenes, Sewas Betera Thonne Ich. Sithon Tha Fache Feo Thingode, Sende Ich Wilvingum over Wateres Hridge, Hridge, sorry. Alde Madmas, He Me. Father swore, Sor is me to said Johnne on seven minum. Gumina angum, but me Grendel havas. Hunso on Heurote mit his hetesankum. Far neither ye fremed is min flat we help ye wanud. He weird for swell uh, on Grendless gride. God al the mai, son a dull shadon. Dada ye twa ye twavon ye twavon. Full oft ye bell did on. Bell red drunkne over alloye or red mejus. But he on bell cellar bead on wool don. Grendless boo id gridum. Eja. Sonne was seos medohau on morientid, drichtsele dreorfag, sonne dailite. Au benchthelu, blode vestimed, haul heuru dreore, achte ich, holdrathi las. Deure dude, se sa dauth for none. Site nu to simle, simle, and on sal metal. Sie reith sedjum, swathin seva huette, thawas yaut uh, majum, yaudor at sonne. On beursele uh, bench yerimed, thar swith ferthe, ferthe. Sit on Eldon, Stridum Daule, Sein Nutte beheld, Sethe on Handabar, Roden, Haldowaye. Schenk de Schier wered, Shop wheelum sang, Hador on Herote, Sarvas Halida, Dram, Duoth un Little, Dena on Wedera. That was a lot shorter. 
Right, so I shall jump into that. So Krosgar spoke, uh, Helm, I suppose this is like another, another kind of like protector of the shieldings, helmet of the shieldings. It was used before too in the last bit. Mm, okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a corrupt line, by the way, isn't it? Um, isn't it? I heard you. Yeah, I, I heard you read. Did you read Wera Fichtum? I said Wera Fichtum. Yeah. So the manuscript has Fera Fichtum, which mm, okay. uh, apparently no one can make sense of. Um, Kleber makes it Fora Fichtum. Right. Uh, yeah, just to be clear, there's, there's no agreement about what to do with those. So, or <clears throat> I mean, I, 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 I've glossed it as something like "ready fight you," but it sounds like there's no agreement in what it even says. So, um, "Winna mean Beowulf, my friend Beowulf," um, and for favor, or maybe something like honor. Us have sought, um, and that's not you don't see those usage forms in holdings very often, do you? That's that's just for meter, right? Yeah, building, that could be dialectal. Um, I feel like it may be more common in older texts, which obviously this isn't. Oh. I, I could be wrong about that, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's definitely not not common. I don't think we've seen it yet in this. In, in Beowulf so far. Um, so for favor or honor, us have sought, ye slog thin fadir. Um, so slew your father, fachthe master. So that'd be like in, in the greatest feud, I suppose that, that would be the greatest. I think that's dative. Um, but, I, but I guess we have to be careful and, and say like struck because it doesn't mean kill the way slay means right so um just just one of those things that put an asterisk on yeah yeah i mean that's i think that's another another example of like almost kind of false friend between modern english and old english um yeah that's a good point so hang on let me try and make sense of this so it came he Havulava, which is a name, I think, uh, to single-handedly murder or to murder with his own hand. Uh, mm, this is really, this is a long thing to, to unpick, I feel like, with Wilvings, which seems to be a, another, maybe another ethnonym. I, and I think so this this actually is a uh, uh, a phrase structure, a kind of an idiom that you see in Old Norse really often. He became data of somebody's name, Ad Bana. He became his killer. Like it's okay. just he killed him, right? So okay. he became the hand killer, like he killed him with his own hand. Um, of you know Heath Laugh, um, amid the Wilvings. So I guess maybe Heath Laugh. I'm going to call him that because it sounds funny to me. Uh, is a Wilving, and I'm not sure who the Wilvings are. Maybe this is, yeah, like I said, just another ethnonym. What does Kleber say? Thanks for making me clarify very much. Um, yeah, but it's but it's but it's interesting because like now and then those things from Old Norse just like oh yeah, it's something I see all the time, but mm -hmm. uh, it but it's more marginal maybe in Old English. It could just be that I'm. I don't have the sort of experience with sentence like structure to to have picked up on it or like my pattern recognition in my brain is just not as good um but yeah so then him of spears um kin so hang on why have i translated that as spears <clears throat> so no no that's just completely wrong so they're him <clears throat> of 
the 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 kin of the the wedders for Hellebrogan for fear of troops hop on their michte uh, could not have so yeah i think i see right so what are kin the the geeds then they could not have him for fear of like reprisals for fear of his spirit yeah okay okay that makes sense so the wilbings are some enemy of the geeds but yeah. or something right some or maybe not an enemy maybe they don't want to be enemies and because he's made this killing mm -hmm. they're in danger of them or something that 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 definitely goes with what Hrothgar says about him later so someone so we did, so from there he saw uh people of south south danes like south dane people south danish people over the rolling of waves either you walk uh on a shieldings, so that's refers to the South Danish people again. So from there, he thought he 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 saw South Danish people on a shieldings over the rolling waves. Um, and then I indeed ruled, uh, like the Danish people, and on youth I held. Uh, Yimmericha, I've I've translated like gem kingdom, like 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 as in the sense of good, perfect, like you know, like shining kind of kingdom, maybe. Or is it um, just big? Is it so? Do you have do you have that with M's? Uh, let me see what does the manuscript say. Oh, it does say that in the manuscript. Gem. Okay, because Claver has it as Yena, so like wide. Like an old Norse Ginunga gap or something like that. That that oh, sounds okay. like makes more sense so, actually. It, it could be that the manuscript says Yimma, but Yinna makes more sense or something like that, maybe. Yeah, it so the manuscript has Yim Mericha, which doesn't make sense. I'll I'll just type that in here. Yeah. Yim Mericha in the chat. Which I mean you gotta do something with that. Um Yinna Richa wide kingdom certainly makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, wanted to ask you i think this is actually the second time you've translated for them as um what do you say like truthfully i i thought it was oh, I, i'm sorry i put that as a direct message um i thought that was uh formerly because oh, even in modern yeah. english you get for them right meaning something like that yeah actually that that makes more sense i think i i've, I've been translating it as something like indeed um but yeah, no, that 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 makes more sense. I don't know what Bosworth Toller actually says on on that. Obviously, Bosworth Toller is not the um. So I think Bosworth Toller is a great resource. But, yeah, um, yeah. Of course, I guess he's not formally ruling. It's more like you know early on, right? When yeah, I early, like early, was, early, yeah. early in my life. Yeah. yeah. So and I wasn't so on so on har. So ancient archaic. Yeah, so that okay, that makes more sense. So then I thought like it in the like earlier, early on ruled uh, the Danish people on youth held uh, this gem kingdom, uh, city of treasures. Um, no, so like of like city of treasures of the heroes, maybe. Yeah, it's like because it's horde burg of men, right? So like treasure fortress of men, place yeah. where men hold keep their their stuff. Yeah, mm. okay. the good stuff. I think I mean, might, could be men, or it could be warrior, or it could be hero, depending yeah. on the con. As as Gavin points out, I mean the stuff about treasure there um, could go with the the gem from the previous line, but. But it's worth noting, I, I put in the chat how it's spelled in the manuscript. It doesn't even say reach as a word. It's in mer richa. So there's something wrong with it. But yeah. Jim Kingdom sounds like a cheap knockoff game you'd have on your cell phone. It does. 
I like this one. So Tharwas Heregar Dowd, then was Heregar dead. <laughs> it's like after all this euphemism. <laughs> yeah. Very simple uh, to slaze it out. Um so then was Heregar dead, my older brother unliving, <laughs> just being very blunt about it. Uh child of half dane. Uh that one was better than I, so that he, he was better than I. Being modest, perhaps. Afterwards, the um, ha having dealt with or having settled the fail, like the fee or the 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 cost. I don't know if fail extended to cost at this point. Having or after after the feud, having settled the the fee. Is it? So, is Itch Hrithgar the subject of Thingoda? Like afterwards, I settled. I'll just say how, how I took this. Like afterwards, I settled the fee for the few. Like, uh, I think maybe it's, so. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like after I settled the fee. Uh, for the feud, then I sent Wilvings over the ridge of the water. Does that make sense? Do you think? Yeah. So, like, because because yeah. it, it it lines up with what he's doing right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, old treasures, Elder Mardmus. Hear me, Arthas swore he he swore oaths to me. Um. Sor is meant so it's sorrow is to me i i have sorrow um to say on my um several like heart spirit um of any ma of any men What, Wouldn't it be to any man, Angam being dative? Right, um, it's sor it sorrows me to tell any anyone. Right? Okay, yeah. I think I was looking at Gumina and thinking, like, getting getting confused and thinking the whole thing was genitive. Um, yeah, that make, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, so it's it. It's it sorrows me to to say in my heart of anyone um, or to anyone. So like so it sorrows me to say in my heart to any man. Oh, okay. So it sorrows me to tell anyone basically what uh, humiliations on Herot, Grendel, uh, with his hateful intention did sudden attacks i think that's that i mangled that a little bit but something to that effect so like so it sorrows me to talk about the humiliations that grendel has done to herald with his his sudden attacks yeah i think that the only thing i, I think this just gets it, well the past participle is down on 476 right you frame it what grendel has performed and then we come back to you know he's performed the humiliation with his hate thoughts he's performed the the fairy the, the the like extreme hates right yeah okay yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry i realize you you're like carrying my parts a lot more than i'm carrying your parts but yeah well Thanks. i just i'm just trying to get ahead of the uh the the the, the grammar pedants and the comments of yeah i mean i um, by all means, I, I like what, you, I what you've got to do is just you know sear these inflections into your brain um, yeah. with a branding iron. You know, like you know, just flashcard yourself every day, and on days when you miss, you know, more than two, just like cut a finger joint off. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think to be honest, I I was hoping that, that that this would just sear them into my brain doing this, but it's yeah, I do need to just sit there and just like. I uh, uh, 
I, I complete the, 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 the thing that made the most difference for me, probably in learning all the grammatical endings is I had pleurisy for a month. And, um, so it hurt oh. to breathe, um, you know, many, many years ago. And, uh, pretty much the only thing I could do is just sit there and memorize all this stuff. Um, but obviously reading it all the time is, is part of it too. And I'm, and I'm just lucky because a lot of these endings are basically the same as, as, uh, old Norse. Um, I also, I recently reread, um, Sweet's Anglo-Saxon primer to mm -hmm. get ready for this, to kind of remind myself where things were different from old English, from old Norse. Um, so a lot of that is fairly fresh because of that. That might be worth doing. I do. I, I actually haven't read the Anglo-Saxon primer. I have a copy of it, which belonged to Daniel Jones, who was a politician and <laughs> was to me by Jeff Lindsay, who I don't, I don't know where he got it from. Um, well, it just says D Jones and it. it might not have belonged to him. It might just have belonged to someone called D Jones, but. That's still likely enough. I found mine in a used bookstore in the year 2000. I was in high school and it was the uh, first book I taught myself another language from. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. I did Old English before Old Norse, um, but then got more into Old Norse, obviously. Um, so yeah, I've got this book. It's, uh, you know, it's been a piece of my history, I guess. And it is signed, signed by the um, year 2000 um, fencing team. Oh, really? I guess, yeah. It was just what I had on me. So oh, I saw, okay. That so makes I got sense. them to sign it or something. Yeah. I thought you were going to um, say, I thought you meant that you'd got it and it had been signed by them and you just, <laughs> like, why the hell? Why the no, hell is it? And... Yeah, and, and, and it's like the U.S. and the Polish 2000 fencing team because oh, I, was, I was in England, as it so happens, and they were practicing. There was some pre-Olympic thing, and I ran into the English and the, and the, or the U.S. and the Polish team, and I got to sign it. I don't know. So it's, it doesn't matter to anything. <laughs> Just a weird piece of my history. So did, were you into fencing or was it just? No, I just ran into him. Um, uh, <laughs> just, yeah. I was kind of into fencing, but no, it was a total coincidence. I, I think uh, my friend's sister was uh, training to be a, a swimmer. And so she knew some of the swim team and, and there was some like pre-Olympic thing in England because they were, mm -hmm. they were from uh, Chichester. Right. Um, and we were there for this like pre-Olympic kind of display like, you know, it's like a low stakes thing. Um, anyway, so I just ran into these fencers and got them to sign my book. Uh, Charles was there. So I've, was been, I've been in the presence of, of, uh, of royalty, yeah. I think he, we, me and my family kept going to Cardiff for my birthday because there was a load of Doctor Who stuff there when I was a kid. Um, and it kept coinciding with Armed Forces Day by accident. So... He at one point he drove past us. Um, oh wow! That's I mean that's the closest I've ever been to any. Of, I think it's the only time I've ever seen one of them. Um, but I got an yeah. email from the president of Iceland. I know. Yeah, that's very very exciting. Yeah, it's not I mean, very, not royalty the same way, but yeah. no, but it's very exciting. Are you? <laughs> will you? Will you elaborate to the? to people or will you simply leave it as a mysterious like was he really angry with you <laughs> like <laughs> um hoping to do a video with him in, in iceland if i get back there and then of course i know a uh or or am connected to a, a very famous former gov governor in the u.s so yeah i've got all kinds of weird connections uh, exciting. i'll leave i'll leave that one mysterious <laughs> Well, you've got to you've got to store them up so that you can like slowly drip feed them into your videos at some point have them just oh, walk yeah. off. i don't know how much toleration people have for these things i, I did an interview yesterday with um, matt colville the D, &D youtuber mm. and uh, i sometimes felt kind of painfully like oh, I'm, I'm getting too into the weeds with my own bizarre stories <laughs> but, uh, yeah I don't think was... people are interested in jackson the person as well as and my hate to thunk him, my, my hate <laughs> thoughts. Uh, 
I, he, I, I, I kind of, you know, as much as there's all this vocabulary about um, kings, you know, Hrothgar is the friend of the Shieldings and the helm of the Danes and the protector of the Westings and all that. I also kind of enjoy just the, like, he really lets his vocabulary just roam free and talking about what a monster Grendel is, you know. I really he's, like he's, that. Yeah, he's very florid about it in a fun way. Yeah, I'm you know, he's too. full of, yeah, he's full of hate thoughts and, you know, he's a, he's a deed hater and, uh, mm-hmm. Like, you know, and then he comes in the dark nights. It's just, he's he's very lyrical about it, and I think it's kind of fun. And then it's almost proto horror. It's almost what, sorry? Like a proto horror. Mm, yeah. Like, what, in the sense that it's creating this, and am- like the ambiguity, and you don't know what the monster is, and it's more scary. Yeah. Because you don't. Yeah. He's yeah. Jaws, right? He's the shark that you don't see that much. It's just yeah. the anticipation of seeing the thing. Mm. Except if, you know, <laughs> I don't know, Quincy had wrestled Jaws. <laughs> right. He could have. He could have. Yeah, that would have been that, that would have made that a fun movie. It's probably in Jaws 5 or something. I think it well, was so, so we were at uh, hmm. Ismeen Flitware. Right? Okay, so it's my, like, cool post- we have war co- like collective like war band um waned so like made smaller um fate so he so fate swept they is he i feel like he is nominative isn't it like they, it's accusative too. I think it's like, accusative here because oh, for Swayup, for Swayup has but, to be singular. So. Yeah. Okay. So fate. Yeah. Okay. So fate swept them away, and Grendel's dread. Fate being the subject. Um, fate swept them away by by Grendel's dread or something like that, or with Grendel's dread, or like into. Maybe like into the terror of Grendel, something like that. Like I, like I guess it could even be kind of an objective generative, like swept. Like if you think of the last moments of their lives as the terror of Grendel. Mm, yeah, 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 that's true. Okay. But yeah, so that yeah, that's an, another example of a, a a situation where the prepositions don't overlap very well with modern English. Um, although at least there is a preposition there. Um, what is the preposition in your text? Like in mine, it's on. Okay, yeah, it is in mine too. I was wondering if maybe you had something really, really weird the way you're you were talking about it. No, uh, no. I mean, it's. I think on. Like, just what is of... what is in your text? Like on, like I'm kind of used to just reading, you know, twenty different things that have a whole thing as prepositions. Yeah. So, God, out of my God can easily uh, hinder the foolish robbers' deeds. Is what I got for that. Yeah, and isn't uh, that kind of interesting? Like the foolish one, like what? Like he's he, he's dumb. Like it's a weird thing, kind of to call him out for. Because I mean, buddy, he's as far as I can tell, he's like twenty zero here. So <laughs> I mean, it, it is, seems I, like, what was that? Sorry, it just seems a little I don't know gratuitous. Um, yeah, Claver suggested rash. And the apparatus, which I think is pretty good for it too, but yeah. uh, but you're right. You could totally just think it's dumb. And I think it, earlier, I, Rash. I feel like Rash makes it, it lines up with earlier when he was talking about how he's he sort of carelessly doesn't care for weapons. Um, oh, maybe yeah. that's like Rash kind of could work there as well. Of course, Beowulf may not know that Grendel. It's not just that he's he doesn't care about weapons; like he's sort of impervious to them. <laughs> like, yeah. He, you may not know that it's actually more than just a program. So, full often promised uh, beer drunken over ale cups. So, you know, what it made us.
Okay, okay. So warriors, orit medjas is the subject, isn't it? So warriors very often promised beer drunken over ale cut. Ho hopefully my mouth didn't get concealed there. So warriors full often promise promised beer drunken over ale cups that they wanted to wait in the beer hall uh, for Grendel's attack with Grudum Edja, so like with, with horrible or violent edges. So I assume that means like blades. So there's like people drunkenly boasting that they're gonna they're gonna wait for Grendel with their swords. Um, but edge edge is is gender plural, right? So wouldn't that be like terrors of edges, almost like with the? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it, yeah. it means the same thing. I just it's... no. I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, because guru is dative plural as well, isn't it? So that is yeah, that does seem to be a noun, but I've translated as an adjective for some reason. I mean, it's just for metrical reasons, I think, that they're doing this data plural, gender plural thing. But... Okay. Test, 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 test. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, doing. yeah, yeah, okay, good. Cool. Yeah, this is the part, this is, you know, the 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 stretch of the, uh, the PBS fundraising call, <laughs> taking their ties off and, you know, everything's running out of batteries, yeah. All right. Um, so, so they, they wait for them with their weapons. So then was this mead hall on morning tide, noble hall, uh, said like gore stained when day lightened. So blood stained, like organ stained. Uh, the, this word, uh, dreor in dreor far is, I think that's the word that becomes the modern English word dreary, yeah. which now the connotation of like boring or just like um yeah so there's been a semantic shift there um all bench cello could be like bench floors or I've, I've seen it translated as just benches so all, all bench floors blood dampened um the whole battle gory or is it just like bestim, it applies to hail too. So the hall is spattered with battle oh, blood. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's an adjective. I think it's just the dative to to drear. It occurs to me the same semantic shift happens with bloody in British English, right? That's it, true. It doesn't just mean you know obviously covered in blood, but something like you know bad, just in general, right? Or just an yeah. intense fire, right? Bloody gray. Bloody gray, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I think there's a few, there's a few um adjectives in old English that I can think of, like dizzy. I think in old English had a, had more the sense of like stupid, foolish, whereas now it's dizzy. It's like didn't we see that in, in this? Potentially. I think, I think we I think we, we may have in, in here. But yeah, it's always weird how specific that now, the, the feeling of this <laughs> is very specific that that refers to now. Um, so, possessed I, and then this, uh, Holdra, I've, I've, I've read that as just like some kind of Danish title. I think I may have got that from somewhere. Um, I don't think so. I think it's got to be, you know, you look at Ra, and if that's not a comparative, it's almost certainly genitive plural. Um, and we've seen that adjective hold, right? Like faithful all the time. Okay. I do think this is a little bit semantic or syntactically complicated because we've got... Um, the coordination, the last, Sitha death for nam. Right, so yeah, I'm stepping on your toes here. Uh, oh no, not 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 at all, not at all. I I feel like you can make much better sense of it than I, than I can. 
Well, I'm also, I mean, you know, I'm reading through all the commentary and Claiborne, and it helps with some of these things too. And his suggestion for this, which I think is very, very good, is I had the less of faithful ones. Okay. So in, because they've been killed. Yeah. And by the way, so that's interesting. That less fewer thing that people argue about today. Was, yeah, I was thinking he was right here at Beowulf. <laughs> yeah. So I had the less of the the, the faithful ones as the thug is kind of coordinating with that as death took them okay okay or nom so like i had less i had the i had like the fewer of them of my dear veterans madeira dugava as death took them yeah okay that's it's 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 very impressive how concise that is now that you've had a look at it <laughs> it's like just got well, you know, I'm 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 standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, I didn't come up with that. You know, I'm getting that out of the, the commentary. So, sit, sit no. So, sit now to feast. I think that's imperative, isn't it? Sit now to feast. Sit there. Um, yeah, because that's the remnant of the old uh, uh, positive. J, right? And the E. I think that's why that's there's a an e in the yeah. imperative there. Um, so sit now to feast and unfasten your thoughts, victorious. Uh, of me so so me that sedrum is a genitive plural, isn't it? Data plural. No yeah. data, sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um so sit now to feast and unfasten your thoughts. Uh, victorious fame men. I, I don't know if that needs a preposition there. Um, as your soul wants to. How does that sound? Yeah, I just think it's it's probably like unseal your your thought, like you said, and probably like the sea of red is something else you're unsealing. Like, you know... Tell us about your your victory glory. Okay, right. I th I think because it's got to be a noun. It's it doesn't have any adjective endings on it. So unseal your thought. You know, tell us basically tell uh, for for men right. So tell tell your victory. Oh, glory. Tell us some stories. Okay. Tell us about some of that other famous stuff you did in your youth. Okay, so that yeah that makes sense. It makes sense because then it's like tell the other tell the other people here about your stories um as your soul wants to um that's a that's an interesting little thing like we know you want to i don't know maybe, maybe this is too strong but like we know you want to tell us about your stories like you clearly want to go on you have permission kind of thing yeah. maybe here oh uh, have i ever told you about the time i fought the sea monsters yes <laughs> <laughs> like 10 times but yeah He's found a load of new people that he can't, he's not told his stories to yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got to be eager. I mean, hey, that happens to me. What the stories thing? Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, I haven't ever told you the story of me getting driven off the cliff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and of course, you know, the sea monsters get bigger every time, right? So, is the cliff thing true? Yeah. Oh my god, so, yeah. just... I want to ask about that, but it, I realize it may be a traumatic experience. Oh, I can tell it. Uh, I used to tell it to students when they were really nervous about final exams and things just so that they would know that, you know, I too have tasted the fear of death. <laughs> um, and uh, I think they enjoyed it. So, I'll, come, I'll put a pen in this, come back to it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad he didn't perish. Thanks. <laughs> so, then uh, was to geek men gathered together or then was four geek men maybe is a better better translation gathered together on uh in in the beer hall bench room or, or benches or bench benches made space on made space space made on the bench um so so then then was space made on the bench for the geek men who were gathered together in the beer hall. And then 
the violent souled ones I've translated that as went to sit um, proud in honours, maybe proud in glories. Um, Thane Nitte beheld, so I'm, I'm translating that as like having observed his Thane, his Thanely duty. Uh, he Hmm, hang on. Sethe on Hundabar. So the one that bore in his hands the ornamented ale cup. Hmm. Um, okay, I think so. So the Thane having performed his duty, he that in his hands bore this ornamented ale cup poured out um <clears throat> she that wedded so are they both am i being stupid or are they both adjectives is that like poured out like bright clear i must that yeah, can't well, be. I, I think probably something like where it is is just being used you know nominally to mean beer that there's so many words for alcohol yeah, it does. It does look like it's being used as a net. Yeah, used as an noun. So shinked it, pulled out, sure. right alcohol, clear alcohol. Like um, I think beer and ale both come from fossilized forms of adjectives for brown. So I didn't know that. Yeah, um, the the alu because we actually see that in, in Elder Fulark and some really old like Proto Norse Proto English scripts. Alu right for, for beer. Uh, pretty sure that's related to some uh, some roots for uh, for brown, and I think beer is too, or maybe beer is related to brew, but I, I, I think ale is definitely from like just brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. So isn't the same same true of bear actually? Yeah. Am I bear, bear is, yeah. brown? It's the same root as in brown. Yeah. So he poured out bright alcohol. Um, the bard, every so often, Huilung, sang clearly in Herod, in the hall. Uh, there was joy of heroes. So joy of heroes was there in the hall, maybe. Duoth uh, unlittel, war band unlittle, unsmall. Uh, dinner and wedder of Danes and of wedders. So all, all right. together. High five. All right. Well, sir, all the best to you and all the best to everyone out there. And uh, till next time. Yeah. See you very soon. Thank you very much for hosting. Yeah. All the best, everybody.